Gram on the ground. In real life, I don't rap. Niggas say I ain't that. He Ray J with the cap. If he say that ain't facts, he trying to turn you to a lick. They know the legend when legit. But somewhere around me a stick. Run up on me with your phone, I bet you turn into a skit. You can go viral, your homies pouring out bottles. I ain't got time for that shit. Hold up. Hold up. Flick. Beat your ass and then posing the pick. I'm back in this bitch. Imagine laying in the casket and I get a slap on the wrist. What's happening, little bitch? What the hell when nigga thinking? They pranking, I'm thinking it's lit. I pull out the blick. I get the aim and the bang it. They screaming now, this is skit. Internet shit. You see me in person, I trip. So please don't run up on this. I'm 100 with this. I'm from the murder. You heard me. I swear that I'm running this shit. Hey, niggas want to be famous. We gon' turn them to a skit. Boy, I hope you got to claim it. We gon' make your family rich. They on the gram and they banging. I hope you niggas legit. Cause if you run up with your phone, I bet you turn into a skit. Skit, skit. Can nobody check me? I'm different. I pull up with checks and I flex on them bitches. I know that they press, I ain't tripping my foot on their neck when I step in position. They know I'm the realest on me. I put gorillas on feet. I'm in the villas discreet. I want a million a week. I'm meat mill with the spit. Run up on me, it's a skit. Niggas gon' click. I don't want a politic. I don't want a holla dick. I'm really the shit. You niggas gon' reach, I teach. We know the streets gon' eat. You cannot breach, capiche? I'm in the sweet with heat. Niggas wanna be famous, we gon' turn them to a skit. Boy, I hope you gotta claim it. We gon' make your family rich. They on the gram and they banging. I hope you niggas legit. Cause if you run up with your phone, I bet you turn into a skit. Skit, skit. Niggas wanna be famous, we gon' turn them to a skit. Deal, 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 deal. Patron Pop, I'm the most. Uh. If he's the talker, I'm the host. Yeah. We on the block like we on the post. Shaq. And it's another episode, so what that mean? Toast, 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 yes, toast. Yes, Put sir. your water up there, yeah, Will. Come, come, on, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, uh, so, uh, so uh. Big. Yes, sir. <laughs> Deal, deal, deal. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Everyday Intellect Podcast. I go by the name Suds, and y'all are now tuned in with a great, great, great episodes. And we got ourselves some special, special guests in the building. Yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My yes, boy sir. Will Evans in the building. Yes, sir. How you pleasure. doing, brother? Oh, man, everything's good, man. I'm blessed. That's right, that's yeah. right, that's right. So, um, real quick. How was your weekend, man? How was your 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 mon- your your Monday through Saturday before this man, beautiful day? Busy, Talk bro. To Always busy. That's you know right. what I mean? Try to stay productive as possible. Mm-hmm. Man, just blessed though. Blessed, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Just working nonstop. Absolutely. Creating content nonstop. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Recording everything. All the things that come with it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Regular stuff. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. Perfect, perfect. Uh, my weekend, bro, was uh, it was good, bro. I finally paid my car off, bro. So that's a mm. big, that's, that's a one bill. Yeah, you mm. know, so it's one down. Yeah, that's one down. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's yeah, another. Hello, hello. <laughs> that's yeah, another. so uh, you know, on, this man. year I've been going through this year trying to like knock a lot of debt out. You yeah. know, they say you can't get rich if you're in debt. You know, so mm-hmm. that's one thing I've been really stressing myself upon is just really knocking debt out, and I'm getting there, bro. Yeah, one bill at a time, like you said, bro. How was your weekend, brother? Uh, my weekend was good. You know, I'm uh putting myself in position to get these moves made. And, um, shoot, man, um, I'm just working nonstop. I'm working like 16 hours a week, a day. Well, not a week, yeah, but like a day. A day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to get to the uh, the point in position I'm trying to get at in life. And um, it's working. You know, uh, this year has brought a lot. You know, it started off crappy. Um, but, you know, obstacles is obstacles. If we stop, only thing worse than not moving is out of time. You know what I'm saying? On, so. That's where I'm at. Um, you know, the week was good, though, man. I'm blessed. I'm here. You know, I made it to another Sunday. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, man, you'd be surprised. A couple good months change your whole life. So Absolutely. you might have to work months, them hours for a little yeah. bit. But mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A couple, couple good months of that, mm-hmm. your whole Get life will be right different. There. So keep yeah. doing it. Absolutely, my man. So we got a, a very, very special guest. I can't say it, stress it enough. My boy, Will Evans, urban yes, legend. Oh, man. Yes, sir. In the sir. building. Uh, so... I know um, the people want to know who are you, man. Man, who am I? That's that's a um, that's a deep question. Mm-hmm. I'm a lot of things. Um, I don't know. It depends on who you ask. I would guess, right? Mm-hmm. To my right, son, I'm a, to my son, I'm just his dad. Right. Um, I'm You're a right. father. I'm a I'm a you know son. I'm a brother, cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. 
you know, this is like a new a new spotlight that I'm getting. Mm-hmm. So right. I'm starting to, I guess I'm a public figure now. Um, you know, I've been working on it so long, it almost feel like, you know, you, you kind of, when you work at something, you don't even, when it, when you start to achieve it, you don't, it don't even feel like, uh, like new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. you've been, you've been, you've been working the same way. Yeah. Yeah. You feel Aggression. me? Yeah. 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 You've been attacking the same mm-hmm. way to get to this point. So it's like, man, I've been doing this one. I didn't have the yeah, attention. Yeah. You didn't have the light. You know, you're yeah. doing this in the dark. The people don't know this, but now that yeah. they're seeing it, it's different. Yeah. 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 So that consistency is really what just got the spotlight on it. So I guess I could say I'm a public figure now. I'm a, um, Man, I'm a lot. I'm a community leader. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I represent the IE. I'm a rep for the IE. Shout out to the IE, man. Yeah, big facts. Um, man, yeah. Entrepreneur. Mm. I'm an entrepreneur, business owner. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, a lot of different things, man. Yeah. I got a lot. It's a, it's a lot that's going on, but all of it is a blessing. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, definitely. Yes, sir. Um, so you spoke on, um, you know, just consistency, consistency and, you know, and um, as we know, you know, you're starting to get a little buzz for yourself and a little a, a growing is uh, coming about. Yeah. Um, how long you been doing? Um, well, did it start off as skits? Did it start off as music? How, how, how did it uh, start off? No, nah, it actually started off with the music. Mm-hmm. And um, I started doing music. I, I was uh, locked up in 2012 to 2000. Like, really, I got out in 2014. Ooh. I was 18. And I came home. I was like 19, about to turn 20. And, um... Yeah, I started, I was like, man, I need a, a new direction, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I just needed something kind of positive to focus on, and I needed something that I could put my energy into, it and uh, just really something to be passionate about, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And music, uh, it was always, like, around, but it wasn't never, I didn't never think I was yeah, going to be doing yeah, yeah. music, so I started in about 2014, started writing raps, I was trash. <laughs> we we got to start somewhere, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. We got to yeah. start somewhere. Yeah, I, I started off, I was trash, you know what I mean? I just kept writing, I kept writing, kept working. And then, um, yeah, man, it just it just progressed into where I'm at. So it really started with the music, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then when the pandemic hit, uh, I was on tour. Um, mm. The pandemic hit, what, March March 2020? I think okay. it was March yeah, 2020. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. March, March, it was okay. about a year yeah, now. Okay. Huh? Yeah. So uh, we was on tour in February, you know what I'm saying? That's when things started picking up traction with the music. Mm. And um, as soon as it started picking up traction... You know the pandemic hit, and I'm like, damn, damn man. Like, the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, okay. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it had been a long time coming. So once the pandemic hit, it was like, well, ain't all that touring is out. You know what I'm saying? So we came back home. Um, we had to figure it out. And I was telling my boys, like, man, my, I was telling my team, like, man, I got to figure out how I'm gonna keep people engaged because it's not like when you have shows, you can just pull up into somebody's city and. You know, you mm-hmm. can engage with them, hear some free birds, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? You can show them love like yeah, that. Yeah. And when you ain't got that, it's like, man, you got to figure out a new way that's less uh, yeah. personal, mm-hmm. you know? And, um, man, I remember TikTok had just came out. <laughs> and we was trying to figure it out. We was like, man, I don't know what I should do. And my manager, he's like, man... Maybe you should do uh like dances or something. I'm like, man, I ain't no dancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll do a little dance, but I ain't no yeah, dancer. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. So Absolutely. I'm like, man, I don't know what to do, man. Like, I'm trying to figure TikTok out. And I was like, you know what? Um, I'm just try these skits. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I did one or two, and a couple of them did a man gained a little traction. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But it wasn't enough for me to be like, like, man, I'm about to do this. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. You know? And um, man, I think. Top of this year, 2021, I was just like, you know what? You know, we had did uh, uh, other things for content, like okay. music stuff. Like, mm-hmm. we did virtual performances, different things like okay. that, trying to adjust yeah, to the times, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, at the top of this year, I was like, you know what? Man, I'm about to just flood. Like, every day, I'm just putting new but content yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I started the skits for real, for real. And the, the I want to say the second week of January. You know what I'm saying? Second week of January, I started the skits. And, um... What was the first one? I think I was playing around like, like, uh, this is how you crip walk if you don't know how. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, and that's just being yeah, from California. Yeah, yeah, from yeah you Coast. gotta know, yeah, exactly. you know everybody you know, know, yeah. Y'all that's know probably your first are, dance. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah that's probably your you know first dance. Yeah. yeah. Barbecues. Uh huh, yeah. You know what I mean? All that. So, yeah, I was like, man, um, I gotta figure this out. So, I was playing around like, man, this is how I be seeing like niggas that crit walk that yeah, don't know how to crit yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah, okay. All my crit homies that just be trying to like, you feel me? And it was like, trying do it like by. this and then yeah. two seconds yeah. to stop. You feel me? And that shit went viral. It did like 
like a million in, in two weeks on YouTube. Mm, just like that. You know what I'm saying? God, yeah. And, um, you know, I just was like, man, okay, this gained some traction. So I just kept putting skits out every single day. Okay. And little by little, man, every day just started gaining more traction, more traction. And then, um, you know, I just sprinkled the music in there little okay, by little. Okay, yeah, and you promote your music? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. And that's how, that's how I kind of got cracking. Okay, so um, music is your first love. That's yeah. where it comes from, so. Yeah. So you have you ever had that thought, like, where you was like, maybe I should stick more to TikTok? Or was it like, it's always music for me? Nah, it was always music. music for, the yeah. TikTok was kind of to promote the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I was like, um, I was like, I'm going to use this TikTok to kind of just gain mm-hmm. an audience and it's like really in music now is is more um it's more entertainment based. So like Thanks. you know, the artists that we love is because we love them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We might go listen to their music because we love their personalities. Yeah, and yeah. If you look at all the artists that's kind of cracking right now, that's how it started for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's not the times where you know music is gonna carry it no more. Like, yeah, you gotta yeah, have yeah, some type yeah. of personality so, outside you're right, of that. You're right. You know, yeah. and then people will latch on to you and they support anything you do just because they support they know who you they think you're a friend. So, you know, yeah, that's exactly. Awesome, bro. Yeah, that's so like, you really creating it. I call it the Starbucks um, model. Like, you go to Starbucks, you can use free Wi Fi, right? You can mm-hmm. use all this different stuff. You go to Starbucks, you know, you can even play and like I'm gonna put my name. I'm gonna say my name is different. Yeah, yeah. You get all these different experiences at Starbucks, but then you might buy coffee while you're there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, just because yeah. you don't want to just, you know what I mean, use the free exactly. Wi-Fi and dip. Exactly. So some of us do, but. You know what I'm <laughs> I agree. Nah, it's great that you that say that because the top artists do that now. Yeah. Like Drake. Yeah. Drake. He adjusted everybody. He adjusts mm-hmm. that. Yeah, he, he, he did a TikTok he, song yeah. for uh, the left foot, right? Like, you know, he adjusts yeah, to everybody. He, he so latched on to, he latched on to the, the, the hottest artist. Yeah. The yeah. Hot, no, he yeah, is the that, hottest. Come on, stop playing. Come, bro, okay, bro. so the, the part of Drake's longevity is based on his ability to be smart. Let me say and that. that's smart. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me let me continue. Okay, go to you. Go ahead. So, let's got to think. Migos came out. What, what, what? Um, I, no, let's start Future first. Mm-hmm. Future was the hottest thing going. Then what did Drake do? Yeah, Elite, it, 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 t- Tony t- Montana. Exactly. Yeah, uh-huh. Attaches, uh-huh. attaches himself to him. Migos. Attach himself to them. And a Montana remake. Right. Yep. Um, um, who else? Um, what did he do after Lil that? Lil Baby. He did Lil, Lil Baby. Baby. Like, that mean, on a Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Col- Col- I love McCone. No, yeah, like yeah. yeah. McCone. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But that's so, such a smart play. Yeah, it's yeah. such a smart yeah. play. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. So, um, when it comes to Drake, it's like, is he really the best artist? Or is he using his influence to get next to these people who is hotter? Not to write to write out his way. Okay, you saying hotter? He is the hottest. Like, no, no, okay. no, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, not yeah, not okay, hotter. Okay, but okay, I get what you're is saying. he use, Is he using his his, his brilliance? No, he's saying no, brilliance. Say <laughs> it's, brilliant. it's a brilliance. Yeah, he's, it's, I'm it, not gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is Drake using his influence? Because we all know, um, from a media perception and from a numbers perception, Drake is unmatched. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Is he using that to stay relevant by attaching himself to these big names? You can you can say that too, though, bro. But then again, Drake could just drop an album with just him on it. We're all rushing to it and listening to it. Just him. That's Some right. of his best songs is him by himself. I like, think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I think it's a little bit of both. That's that's Jay Z's model, though. Like if you look at Jay, he'll come around and he'll stand next to what's hot and what's working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, he, and then he'll go back and do the Jay thing. Is I, is so, is he though? Yes, he had, he had a song he? with Drake. He got a song. Okay, with, uh, no, no, no. Time out. Time out. Time out. Okay, what was the song he had with Drake? The uh, with it Jay was and Drake. well. Okay, it was Pound Jay and Drake. Pound Cake. Pound Cake. Whose album was that? It was Drake's. Drake. Okay, so you saying he's? Right. Oh, you mean you say like, uh, feature? Kind of so you right. want a feature? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He, he'll hop on a feature with him. Mm-hmm. But see, I can't agree with that with the Jay Z aspect, and I'm glad you said that because we was gonna, I uh, saw one of your videos and you said Jay Z Drake. It was kind of, they're both goats in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think, I don't think Jay is, 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 is is the goat. Right. I don't think Jay-Z, because I I honestly think Mm Jay-Z is picky with his selection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I don't think Drake is the same. You don't think Drake is as picky? I don't, absolutely not. I think he goes where, where it's hot. I can't see Jay-Z doing a song with Future. I can't see Jay-Z doing a song. song with Future, though. Did he? Mm-hmm. He did. Uh, I got the keys, the keys, the keys. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, DJ Khaled. Yeah. I'll say, yeah. I'll say DJ yeah. Khaled, yeah. but that's not. But still, he's <laughs> on the top. Oh, you <laughs> you're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. But 
I can't see Jay Z hopping on to oh, the the hottest hottest thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a, not a bad thing so, because what Drake is doing okay. is helping. It's helping his career, not, even though yeah. he doesn't need the help. Yeah, it's yeah, smart. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He's creating that longevity. Like, oh, and he's also helping these and artists. Then, Jay building. is at this point where music is not all for him right now. Jay is not at at a music standby where you got to flush music at. Not saying Drake is either, but that's his main focus right now. Yeah. And Jay, it has to make sense for Jay for the type of rapper he is. Drake came into the light to be versatile. So Drake want to learn new stuff. So he do a song no, with he Bad Bunny. Yeah. I'm, he saying, could, I'm, he, I'm not saying, but he was learning. So going throughout his career, he want to be more versatile. Okay, so he would get okay. on the song I with... I think it's more like, uh, not to cut you off. Go, go ahead, sir. Yeah. I, think it's more, I think it's more Drake is smart enough to... What, what keeps Drake was making his run go so long is when he does what you're saying, right. is he's doing it with whoever's hot at the moment because... Hip hop is a young man's game, absolutely. And if you don't do that, then it's like the kids you trying to kind of influence the generation that you don't have. Like Drake, his fans is always gonna be his fans. The ones that grew up on Drake is always gonna be the ones, right? Mm -hmm. But when Migos come out and all the kids love Migos, instead of Drake doing, I think Nicki Minaj made that mistake. Like instead of you know going against Cardi, if she would work with Cardi, Mm -hmm. they'd make everybody that's young that love Cardi look at Nicki is the same way. If you look. Whoever your favorite artist look up to, you are gonna be like, okay, yeah, that's the goat. If your favorite, yeah. if Kobe say MJ is the goat, and you love Kobe, you are gonna be like, oh, yeah, well, Kobe say MJ the goat. So yeah. you yeah. feel what I'm saying? You got them core fans. Even that's if you've ride. never seen MJ play, absolutely. You feel me? So it's the same thing. I think Drake is kind of standing next. He does stand next to what's hot, and it's a business decision. I think yeah. Jay does the same thing. He just has to be more. Uh, I think strategic. it's strategic. Yeah, it's a little more strategic when yeah. Jay do it because he's so he's Jay. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. You can, when Beyonce, your wife, you got to move a little different. <laughs> exactly. Really move and I and I feel yeah. like they're goats in their own realm mm-hmm. that a lot of people don't talk about. Like Jay is not the goat. Now, don't get me wrong. Jay makes amazing music. Mm-hmm. Like from people who actually listen to music and lyricists. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to talk to a, a 2000s baby about lyricists and, yeah. and the rock hymns and is. the big L's. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But and to actually listen to Jay, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because the disrespect is is crazy. Because I have these conversations with um people, and it's um I hopped on Jay late, like I didn't hop on like from like because I had a, I got a boy mm-hmm. who Jay fan, Jay fan, like uh, in middle school. This was like 2007, six. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, get out of here. You know, I, I was, was I was like, I was I, I was <laughs> exactly yeah. I was a I was That's a some West Coast shit. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. 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 I was I was a victim of the propaganda, like you know the whole Illuminati and all yeah, this other stuff. Yeah, that you know was what I'm big saying? At that time, yeah. Exactly. And I'm like, nah. And then when you actually listen, I think my first album I listened to was Blueprint One. Oh yeah, you and found I'm, the right one. And I changed your life. I said, my God, this is dude, this is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I've been missing. Like exactly. And I'm like, dang. And then I started doing my research on Jay. Then you got the Black Album. Well, not then, but you know, there's the Black Album. Yeah. There's reasonable yeah. doubt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Like, this, man is, speaking, <laughs> this man is yeah, spitting, speaking, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then also, I got onto music late because, you know, my parents, um, Christian background, you yeah. know, so. Monster. Um, exactly. So, you know, my parents ain't playing the, nah, the 99 one. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They playing Kirk Franklin, Fred Hammond, yeah. things like that. And they With turn their mess yeah. up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So when you branch out into your own and you start actually listening to music mm-hmm. and it's like. Oh man, I've been you missing a lot. Saying? Yeah, I've been, <laughs> you know I've been what I'm in the world I've been in. Yeah. Exactly, and I more I gravitated more to the the East Coast sound. Mm-hmm. You can say, you know, the more lyricist, the more, um, not more the 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 boom bap, the boom bap type of um rap. No, 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 more of the boom bap, not more of the um the new the the trap kind of drums. That's hot, exactly. So um, I started going for that, the Earl Sweatshirts, you know, the Action Bronsons, things that the people who are actually like spitty, like yeah. the Kendrick Lamar. You inspired you know, by words. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The the bars that make you actually sit there and like, wait, what? I gotta break this shit down. Right, exactly. Yeah. What did this dude just say? Yeah. And we're living in a generation that's not like that. You know what I'm saying? They want mm-hmm. something that sounds good, but they don't even know what they're saying in, yeah. in, a, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? It's that feeling. They just like that feeling. Just they like that. Fun. They like that bounce. The yeah. little Uzis, the futures in the such yeah. a way. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, uh, 
Thug. Nah, Thug be spitting. Nah, I actually listen to. I, I mean, yeah, I but, can but, attest. But we remember it, but we remember when Thug first dropped. We was like, we not know, we not knowing what he was saying. Yeah, but it's this like he know how to write a beat so well. Like it's like oh, his my voice God. is an instrument. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Exactly, yeah, exactly bro. Exactly so that. going going back to my point, I feel like they're goats in their own aspect because Jay kind of is. Um, Idolized by by our generation now the old heads like Jay and Drake uh I'll, so nine eight both, times yeah. out of ten they gonna pick Drake uh, uh Jay Z every time yeah. you know what I'm saying but I feel like Jay Z was um is considered to go one because the music he put out his content and also because his business moves now Drake we don't know well I personally what what kind of business moves is he doing you know we have the Adidas. You know, so, we got we, the, so we what, got are we, the jump what are we in. ranking goat off of? Off of music exactly. or just business? That's the like, question. Because if it's business, damn, but you know, Jay Z gonna win exactly ten but, times out of ten. You right, know? right. But, you, yeah, that's a tough question though because when we when we give Drake credit, it's because of those are business moves. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Choosing to stay next to the hottest artists, and business, you know, yeah, those are business yeah. moves too. So, mm-hmm. and I know what you're saying. You're saying like, man, we can't come on. Jay buy Jay go decide to buy a business and. You yeah, know, you know he got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got it. But um, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I think it's ambiguous. I think it's whoever you know, whoever you asking at that yeah, point. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah. for me, I I just listen to words and I listen to the way Jay put. It. I don't even mm-hmm. even the ghostwriter thing. It's like yeah, but there's a lot of people that like the Ghost more I, I get into it, the more things I learn. Like I'm like oh, damn, damn. There everybody got a everybody ghostwriter. go. They got a team. It's a it's team, weird. bro. Yeah, it's, it's a weird. team. But it's eight niggas in there. I ain't yeah. gonna say it's weird. It's just that's how they make music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I, I think if you just take that out and look at it, I still think Jay Jay catalog is special. Man. Crazy, it's like bro. it's crazy. It's timeless, man. Like I'm, I played um, Blueprint one for somebody that 16 years old mm-hmm. that's around me, and she was just like. You know what I mean? And his family member ain't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't even catch that either. I didn't even catch that. But uh, she's 16 and she was like, man, like we, we was having this. I'm like, Jay-Z is the GOAT. Like, you got to listen. You got to listen to the words. He got it. And she was like, no, y'all just say that because he's rich and blah, blah, blah. He ain't married to nah, Beyonce. And that, yeah. Beyonce shit help. Don't yeah, be wrong. Most like, definitely. Because I've spoken to people like from outside the country. And Jay ain't that big outside the country. Yeah, like yeah. He ain't, the way we look at him, they don't look at him mm-hmm. outside the country. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But hip hop started outside, outside the country. She was from Germany. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. So, and she was like, Snoop Dogg is the best rapper ever. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, out yeah. the country, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, it's hard. It's hard to talk music because it's such a sub- It's such a subjective mm-hmm. topic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's also like we have that love for the music. Like if I ask you your top five, let's just say you 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 say. Little Uzi or something. Yeah. Oh, that's he's my best. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna like what? It's like yeah, little I, I Uzi. You. Like what? What do you see in this rapper? It's like, the way it's their hip hop ears. Like, exactly. What are you listening to it for? Exactly. You know what I'm saying for like me, I love words. Mm-hmm. So my top five is gonna be people that inspire me with their words. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I, I don't think that they, they look at it like that. Like the younger generation, they don't really, they ain't thinking like that. They yeah, just, yeah. They go on what time. they know. Yes, yes, that's not their time. Yeah. What you do with music, I feel like you got to take yourself back into that time or do the research. I feel like there's lazy mm. learners out here. Because mm. I've seen, mm. um, I was on Twitter with you and Kev, I've read it. Like, Kev, and one of our, he's one of our friends. He, he was like, man, I don't I don't care about Jay-Z. I like Wayne, you know, I don't care about Jay-Z. And when we, you were asking him, like, well, what Jay Z have you listened to? He said, I don't listen to him. Yeah, I'm like, well, how can you have that argument if yeah. you can't? If you don't know, like, you should learn what you don't hate. Like, you if you hate, yeah, yeah, you got it. You got to listen to it and see if you don't like yeah. it. You should be able to tell me what you don't like about the yeah. artist. You yeah. can't say you don't know. You got to yeah. tell me what you don't like, and I can be like, I don't like how Jay Z flow was. I feel like he sound the same. And I can be like, if you tell me this song, I'm like, I respect it. Like, you yeah. know, I can respect it. At, yeah. at least you, you have an opinion to it. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So, mm. hey, Jay got it though, bro. I, I just feel like. The music he was dropping, bro, his first album dropped at 27, at the age of 27, bro, yeah. Reasonable Doubt. And if you could go back down to listen to Reasonable Doubt, and it, the words that say, it, it'd make you, like, have a hustler mindset, like a, a go-get-it-now mindset, bro. Yeah. And that type of music, like, it ages forever. Like, yeah. you know, it, it ain't going it, it nowhere. Is, it's not going nowhere, bro, just like Pac, I feel like, bro. It's, yep. they, Same it, with Pac. It's not going nowhere. So you're saying Jay-Z's the GOAT? Is that what you just said? Not, not to me. That's what I'm saying. Not to me. Oh, okay. Not to me. But he's up there. He, he's in the top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. He, he got it, though. Bro. I feel like at this point, if you even in the top ten, 
then that's a color. Oh, that's not a yeah, rapper. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, that's not a... Like, I, you ever see people like uh, LeBron, the LeBron-MJ conversation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, man, even to be on that list, you know how many basketball players have come and gone? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Or just rappers, yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah, you're right. It's like, you're man, right. so many have come and gone, bro, for to be on that top five list, any top ten... Man, you of all times, bro, I'm not what, twenty thousand probably NBA players of all time. Like you know, you gotta, yeah. yeah, you right. But yeah. I feel like I mean, although there is a lot of NBA slash rappers, mm-hmm. there's only a selective few that you're saying like Can you these the were these, these were these like, were it. Yeah, 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 these like were on a different we, like when we think of let's say top ten. Uh, how old are you, bro? Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. All right. So, um, I don't know if you were familiar with the the um, recipes elder. Uh, El- Elgin Baylor, you weren't, you yeah. probably weren't familiar Lakers. with the uh, Magic yeah. Johnson. You probably weren't familiar with the uh, Kareem. Yeah. But you, you probably weren't even familiar with Jordan. Probably, you Not know, your much, pops bro. probably was watching yeah. it or something. My pops was like, man, Magic Johnson, y'all don't know nothing. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah nothing. but they right. speak, right. The speak to it till they die. You yeah. know? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I feel like we can all attest. Um, there's, you know, obviously LeBron, obviously Kobe. You know, MJ um, Magic, MJ Magic, right? Just to be in like the top ten, I feel like the top ten kind of never changed. It can argue. Yeah, yeah. Even, even change, with yeah. even with player. rap, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Un- unless you get to someone really, really young, or, yeah. or someone who really doesn't know music, but they like the ear. But then I, you can't really say you they don't say like music, yeah, yeah because yeah. music is all about the ear. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. I feel like they haven't done the research, like we were saying. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't think Jay Z's in my top five. Well, what Jay Z album have you listened to? Uh-huh. Well, I okay. listen to the four, four, four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. It's a nice album. Okay, you know I got saying? a question to you too. So Talk even to if me. they do do their research, bro, even if it's their ear, they probably still won't like it. Like, even if I grew That's up true. off of Uzi, Future, uh, Twenty One Savage, everybody like that, it's such a different sound from Jay Z. So even if I do my That's research and understand everything he's saying, Absolutely. I could be like. He's not even in my top twenty, yeah. and it's not our. It's not our. We can't judge them for that. You feel me? Because like you said, it's an ear thing. So, so it, let me. It, so let me ask you this. Talk to me. If you were talking to a, a young buck, you know what I'm saying, our age, a little bit younger, and they said that, do you think it's a? Uh, do you think it's because of the influence that the media is pushing based off the socially driven uh, world we're living in? Mm-hmm. I think it's always been that though. Always, you know what I'm saying. Before, before social media it was music videos. Even go before music video, like even if taking out music videos, five mics meant something at one point, right? Mm, so it's like you could have an okay. album that's amazing, and okay. the editor at the source hates you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, not right. five. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. gonna say, "Oh, nah, this only got two mics." And you be like, "Oh yeah, that's trash." You ain't even going. You be like, "I'll buy that." You know, when CDs you, was you, out. you going off of that product? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, buy yeah. that after I buy these three. You know <laughs> exactly. what I'm saying? And I'll come back next week or whatever. Yeah, 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 sir. So it's always been like that. I think it's just um, with social media, it's a little faster. I think people's attention span is super so small. Like, small. Oh my God. We used to live just when CDs was around. Like, I don't know what I mean. CDs was around. <laughs> <laughs> we used to live to that stuff. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, because yeah. you didn't have, you couldn't just go. Your moms might give you fifteen dollars, go get a CD and. That's what you're going to live on for the next month. You know and you will listen yeah. to it nonstop. nonstop. You don't really get it. You don't really understand. Yeah. I think the last time I felt like that about uh, like an album was like the Carter 3. That's the last CD Ooh. I probably bought or Take Care maybe. Probably Carter 3 though. Okay, okay. And yeah, great album. That was the last one I felt like everybody was like rushing to the store yeah, to hurry yeah, up and buy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man, like you had to go to three different Best Buys to find the CD. Okay. That was yeah, But yeah. back to the social media thing, I think it's just different now because... With social media, people can just form an opinion right there. Or and a lot of people they look to comments for validation. They go through the comments mm-hmm. and go, "Okay, my friends think this is whack, so I can't even come to school talking about this tomorrow, mm-hmm. even if I like it." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That, okay, that's the difference. Two things, bro. You said which is crazy that I've never even thought about it like that because there's always going to be a social media, yeah. even if in the 1960s, there 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 social media. Was word of mouth, maybe. Newspaper. 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 You know, what it was saying? always a critic somewhere. It's, 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 it's always yeah, yeah. It, it was always something to publish mm-hmm. that that record or yeah. anything. Back when they was on on the, uh, the the spin tables when they put the, the little dip boom boom. Yeah, that was that was their social media. The, the club. Record, yeah, okay. That was their. Social I could media. argue it was worse back then too because there was no perspective. There was always that one person's perspective. So mm. that they, one radio, yeah, one radio. They yeah, felt yeah. like the professionals. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So if they in that seat. 
then it's like everybody is trusting that they're a professional because it's so hard to get that one seat. Now everybody has an opinion, so right. mm. it might have been a little harder before if somebody hated you. You know what I mean? Yeah, not for real. Like, <laughs> the black like balls, anything, real. Yeah, it would have been just 10 times worse. Okay, yeah. I get you. Oh, man. Yeah, that's tough. That's yeah. tough. So I think social media is just... It, it, it's... It's good and bad with anything, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 it's good yeah. and bad with. I anything. mean, I feel like I feel like there's bads with anything you do. It doesn't matter if you're working at a job, yeah. if you're trying to do skits, yep. if you're trying to make music. There's good and bads to everything. Absolutely. It's your choice to dissect the good and the bad and, and see what yeah. you want to do with it. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? And especially like you was talking, we're living in a a, a day and age where People are looking for validation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't stress it enough that people have an opinion. You think Jay-Z is the greatest of all time? That's your opinion. Yeah. I think Kobe is the best basketball player of all time. That is an opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He may think LeBron is the (laughs) But you know what? I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Go ahead. Oh, and I feel like people are... Because of the era we're living in... It kind of sucks because in the way that they're looking, they're look, they post stuff looking for validation. They post this pic and stare at it for 10 minutes and it's like, oh, are they going to like this? Oh, let me check my eyebrows. Let me check the corner of my cheek. Let me check my neck bones. Like, they check everything. And I've been there when I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting here staring at the picture like, is everything on point? It's hard to win like that. Huh? <laughs> exactly. It's hard to win. And and it's, it's like, if I can tell anybody anything... There's only one you. That's right. There's a million other people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We can't always please everybody. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah, why yeah, yeah. depression's at an all-time high. That's why yeah. things are going the way they are because people are looking for validation because of it's not the norm to stand out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People always want to sit next to the cool guy or or be a part of the in crowd or 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 just be popular, or be, or like you said, have that, have that validation. Yeah. And it's like if I can tell anybody, who cares? It's hard to tell somebody that. It's easy to say. Like I can I can spew this out, but when it gets to that time, and people are so in love with a like and, mm-hmm. and, and, and things like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's if I can tell anybody, there's only one you. You yeah. know, people say it, people hear it. Listen. There is only one you. Nobody can be you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, you, you may walk different. Perfect. There's somebody got to walk different. They ain't going to beat you at that. Exactly. No. They can't beat you being you. I've had people like, even with some of the content, I've seen people, like people attack me. Man, look, he's trying to do what you do. And I always look at it like, yeah, but he still got to come back to the fire to keep warm. So Mm. you can't, Mm. even when people do like, you can't be me better than me. I would be myself. You still that one, come back yeah. to the fire you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like when when that happens, even even what you're saying is facts because nobody can be you better than you. And man, being yourself when you can make that being profitable, you know, mm. when you can make that profitable, it's like man, I wake up and be myself, you know. And, and it's it's true. And a, a lot of times, people to your other point, looking at comments and stuff like that. First of all, you can't you can't win if you. I don't even look at numbers. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you number watching, then it's gonna be hard to post the next thing because mm-hmm. you're gonna be like, man, they didn't engage with this or anything. Now you go back. I'll go back probably six posts. Like, all right, well, how did that do? How did this do? How did that do? I'll look the next day or yeah. the day after, and I'll make my adjustments on that. But just you have to you have to stay consistent, and to stay consistent, you can't be sitting there worrying about uh, who thought what, because no, you're never gonna please everybody. You That's know what right. I'm saying? You, you ain't never gonna please you people like. It don't matter what you do, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. I've I've gone through it. I've seen it. Like, man, I didn't even people will make up, you know, what I mean? yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, what they don't yeah. know or what they can't figure mm-hmm. out, they'll make up why, you know. And I see it. So, going back to that, it's like, man, stop looking at comments for validation. I would say, you know what I mean. Stop looking at numbers for validation. Just work, just work. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Word. And the numbers gonna come. And it's so more beneficial if you being yourself and it's working. Why being yourself? Oh my God! Like you it's know, the best man. I do it. You live in your truth. You live in your truth. Nobody hey. can't tell you nothing. You can't live in a hey. lie. And so, I yeah. met people that's like, damn, you gotta you gotta be that character every day. It's like you don't that ain't even you ain't even like that. You don't even like this, or you know, you don't and you can't even walk in a room being yourself. And yeah. it's the worst when it works. 
<laughs> it get, yeah, oh my God. You know, when you play no, the yeah, character no, and, and it yeah, succeeds, it's, you, yeah, it's, it's you, like, damn, yeah. now you got to play that character. That ain't even, you ain't that's even like that. You. You're not even you. Absolutely. Now you live in two lives. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, exactly. that's hard doing they, one. They you know, like, it, man, it's <laughs> cheaper, bro, safer, you know, more fun, and it lasts longer to be yourself. Absolutely. Always. Always. You know, um, I, I mention J. Cole all the time because he, he his, uh, his rise and his, his, who he stands for, from what we know, is is just like this conversation. He 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 grew up. He's been himself. He ain't never had to front. He's told his story. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And even even with the, even with Shiggy, I know we all know Shiggy. Yeah. Um, I saw one one um video, and it was like, don't make them don't don't make don't make them um. A, a dancing tour, like mm. don't 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 be this person, or don't don't make them what be they a try to put yourself. Yeah, exactly. And even when okay. Bobby Schmurder came home, yeah. it's like you got him standing next to all these people, and we don't know. It's just from a, a perception view. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Dang, you got him standing next to this and this, and it's like, are you are you happy being this person? Look, I'll you? tell you like this, bro. I I shied away from making street music in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, man, like that's. I really, those are my real experiences. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. not fabricated. Um, yeah. I know the consequences behind words. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know that, I know those things are coming from my real life experiences, that things that I say on music, right? And um, I shied away from it because I've seen so much. Like, when I see somebody that's like super, I'm a yeah, monster yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of that in rap. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, talk about it. I'm like, that ain't real. I'm, I'm sitting at home, like, I'm looking at it like, that ain't real. That ain't, that's like, not how street be. dudes yeah. act. Yeah, that's not you know how they act. <laughs> yeah. That's not how they go. You know, it's a character. And, and when I seen it, it was like, I'm going to shy away from that because I don't want to even be in the same field as that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But you learn to adjust. But yeah, man, when you see that type of stuff, it's like you being a character, you it, consequences come with it, good and bad. It kind of falls in line with your, your latest uh, single, bro, with Skit. Like, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. I don't know if you got stories, but people, it, it, what you was skit. getting at, it made it seem like, uh, it's like, oh, he just that. He's not really about this life. He's a he's a TikTok star. He's yeah. a but you know you've been alive for twenty six years. They don't know the other. Well, let's just say since you were sixteen, the other team, the last ten years, they know what from January twenty second to this. Yeah. And they're like, oh, he just he not really from the hood. He don't really know. It's just it's funny business. They don't know that. You, like you said, I didn't know you went to jail for two years. Like you know, yeah. and that's yeah. it, it's crazy, bro. Oh, it's I, heard, crazy. I heard Mo Val. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I heard. But Mo those Val. are real experiences. Then. But yeah. look. Not to glorify them, though, because those yeah. are unfortunate things that I went through. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, those Bro. are things that I look look back and wish I didn't have to go through. Mm-hmm. I've been shot four times. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, those things, yeah. those, like, the, and even with Skit, when I'm when I'm writing those lyrics on Skit, it's really just, I was really, it was really um to tell, it was like, not a, even a threat, you yeah. know, it's more yeah, like yeah. A, a caution, like, like, bro. I know we we joke and we laugh and people can yeah, feel yeah. like they know you and they personable uh-huh. with you. You know, I people, man, it's, it's been going crazy, man. I'll be in the gym. People stop me like, yo, like, you know, when people get too close, they want to put their arm on you. Uh, like, 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 come on. Yeah, I'm working. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, like, don't do that. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, I have PTSD about certain yeah, yeah, little yeah. stuff. <laughs> so that should be a shot four times. You I've been shot, bro? Look, and I've been shot. No, nobody went to jail when I got shot. Mm-hmm. Like, that ain't, everybody's still actively outside. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. it's not like, you know what I mean? So, Certain things, you know, people. I've, <laughs> I'll be in my car. Somebody will roll up on me, and that, that's the scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you, you don't know what. Yeah, like certain things happen. And it's like, yeah, and it's scary yeah. though. It's like you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like imagine being in the mall, bro. And this is still a new space for me. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So right. imagine being in the mall and you see dudes like these. These street dudes, they they can identify with me, so they love me. So they yeah, just yeah. they like, and I'm looking like. Is, like what do they want? How do you yeah. know what they want? You know how do you and know? They, yeah, and they yeah, aggressive. Yeah. They don't know how to. Yeah, they, yeah. they trying not to be groupies and you know what I'm saying. Like, right, you know, nah, I'm right. with you, but I don't want to act like that. You know what I mean? But I'm like, oh, but it's a look though. It's the look. It's the look. Yeah, yeah, so it's the look. my antennas go up and I'm like, yeah. And then they walk up like, hey, bro. I'm like, what's up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know no, I mean? for real. That's yeah, how I, I want to tell you, bro. I follow you on this. I love you. Yeah. Nigga, like, then you feel kind of embarrassed. Like, oh, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, sorry, we thought it was gonna be something else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that's so crazy. it's those adjustments that come with it. You know what I mean? You gotta make all that. But those street experiences are, are unfortunate things. Like nobody wanted. When I was in jail, bro, nobody wanted to be in jail. Everybody was talking about going home. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so oh, when oh. I see niggas like, 
yeah, like I just did big. And woo, woo, woo. I'm like, that's not real. Bro. That's not that rapper's not. That's that rapper's That's that rapper shit. Because everybody in the hood wants to get out. Nobody don't want to stay in the hood. That's another part yeah, of that. Nobody want. But exactly, it's the people on the outside looking in. Like, oh, you got to be in there to go. No, what? Get out. I never understood that. Yeah, either. I never like, understood that. Exactly. Like, and they and they always used to say, oh. They used to come out and glorify being in jail. Yeah, man. Like, oh, I'm a real nigga because I did a bit. No, you but got caught. Key, it, exactly. Is, yeah. You got caught. Yep. And I can never understand it because I even took it to this perspective. Mm-hmm. You in a place with no freedom, locked around a Goofy. bunch. Of, right. You you in a place with a bunch of niggas. Man. You know, you you butt naked shower in front of a man. bunch of niggas. You doing all this and, and you come out and, oh, yeah, I did a bit. What where 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 is the where is the glorifying in that? Yeah, I don't man. see it. I, I'm out here, you know, progressing in life. Actually, that's real. And it's, you was and you, you had to stand still. You had to right. stand still. You working yeah, with yeah, idle yeah. time. Yeah, you yeah, sitting yeah. there. You can't you can't build your credit. I mean, nope. I'm pretty sure people can do things, but Small you know shit. we're not. You're right, but it's like you're not making no progression in life, man. I learned you, that, bro. Because you weren't about other people's. Opinions. Mm-hmm. You worried about they? Oh yeah, I did this, so now I got this streaker. Oh, I did this because man, there was so many soft dudes when I was locked up, bro. I was at eighteen, but I, I'm nice with my hands, and yeah, oh, I can't fight. Nah, speak your truth. But when I, I was eighteen, and when you getting when you getting fights in jail, they don't care if you eighteen. Like if I'm forty you, and you, I don't, you got a problem with you, yeah, we yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, but being in there, you know, I was a lot, I was a lot more aggressive when I was younger, mm-hmm. and like, I noticed, like, a lot. And I don't game bang, so everything, I have to stand on my own, too, especially yeah, in jail. Yeah, in jail, yeah. it's like that. Like, you, where you from? And if you're not from nowhere, you go with the non-affiliates. And, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But before you even get there, when you're in the county, it's like gladiator school. So you're going to fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're not from nowhere, a lot of times people, um, I've seen that a lot. You know what I mean? Not to disrespect any of my homies that game bang, but when I was in jail, I noticed, like, man, these niggas is kind of soft. Like, and that really strayed me away from, I'm never going to game bang. These niggas is soft. You know, yeah. not all of them, but a lot of them, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and when you realize you ain't got that protection because in jail, you really in there by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Regardless yeah. If, if you got the game, you yeah, you're going to have a time yeah. by yourself. You yeah, know? you yeah. got to do your time. You got to mm-hmm. fight. And so all I that wonder, stuff, I'm just looking like, man, yeah, they not, they not what they say. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's not real. It's yeah. not real. So I want to ask you, um, cause you've been, you've been actually in the field. Yeah. So I've always, cause I don't know, maybe I'm weird about it. Maybe it's just my imagination. You know, dreams is just imagination. Mm-hmm. So I've always had these um, dreams about, you know, jail and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm the type of dude that you can say whatever you want to me. That's cool. It, it, it go like this. It, it bounce right off and it, it don't phase me. Yeah. Just don't, just don't mess disrespect. with my loved yeah. ones. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody has their different opinions on disrespect. I can call you a female dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can take that as a sign of disrespect. As for me, I can say, okay. Right. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So in jail... Is it like you you do you do what you do you get put in your cell and it's like I mind my own or is it is it impossible to to mind my own like, you know what I mean Rule number one mind your business okay. that's rule number one mind your business if it ain't got nothing to do with you shut up don't look nothing like I, man I you be locked up. <laughs> And somebody would be getting jumped in the back, and you'd be watching TV like this. You just gotta, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. And all you hear, you just watching TV, and all you hear is, mm, oh, mm. yeah, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, and you yeah, just sit yeah. there like this. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you gotta mind. That's number one. So you can, man, all the bullshit that people be going through in jail is a lot of times they put themselves, they gambling. You know what I mean? They didn't, uh, you know, they playing, you know, games like dice and cards and mm-hmm, stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Um, they not minding their business. So that's ninety percent of the shit that happened when somebody yeah, getting yeah. in some bullshit. It's, you ain't minding your business. It's, yeah, if you'd yeah. mind your business, you wouldn't even be in that situation. Okay. You know, um, yeah. Or they just using their time. They're not using their time productively. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. jail make a lot of people worse. But I think that it's easy. To, it's real easy to mind your business in jail. Just mm-hmm. mind your business. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Don't, don't try to make friends. I wasn't in there trying to make friends and yeah. all that. Sh- I, I'm gonna do this time by myself. Yeah, you know what I mean. It is what it is. You know, so, and you suck it up. Yeah. So. You spoke about it. You had to fight before. Absolutely. What what caused that? Was it somebody stepping to you? Was it was it like you say you was aggressive? Was it because of you not minding your business at that time? What what, what was the cause of that? Not minding my, my business. business. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, yeah. it wasn't minding my business. Yeah. Sometimes it was um, 
you know, we, jail is, is real racial still. It's like yeah, segregated. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. with your own people, you just be like, man, I'm, you got a bunch of men in one closed box. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, man, like some, it's going to bound to be fights. Somebody's yeah. going to have a bad day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit mm-hmm. like that happens. Um, Not gang banging. Like, if you gang bang, it's a little different. You're going to fight because of that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I didn't gang bang. So all my fights was either like, uh, you know, I didn't like the way that this happened or, you know, I should have mind my business, but I was, I was just, yeah, like, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. you fight. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, um, right, you have right. to express it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, man, I wanted, and then I'm mad too. We all in jail, mad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 everybody here want to go home. Yeah, you know, right. some, people, some people, it really is. Well, that's what it really is. Right, exactly. That's what it really is. Yeah. So it wasn't. Uh, it was more so when I had to fight. It was more so not minding my business, mm-hmm. and you know what I mean. And it was intentional. If yeah, I yeah. I know how to mind my business real well, so if I didn't, it was because I didn't want to. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah. or. It, honestly, I got in fights. People just disrespecting uh, Marino Valley. Mm. Like we had people from like Long Beach and LA and stuff like that. Like that, I get in fights over stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah, you from man? Where I'm from? This woo. Yeah, like, acting like it's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does right, that even right. happen in different cities? Like, um, they just be acting like right, exactly. Like, well, they, there's a hood it's a scare tactic, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a scare tactic. So that like. I learned that in jail too. A lot of niggas be doing scare tactics. So, so before you go into that, you talk about scare tactics. So, I will say this. So, let's say somebody, you know, you mind your business. Yeah. You know, you you did everything. You walk into your whatever you're doing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and someone just stepped to you like boom, 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 and and you are like, all right, cool, and you walk away. They they try their hardest to play that play that role or something. Mm-hmm. They try to do you know play that jail politics, and and you walk away. Yeah. How 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 does that work? Is it like what do they portray after away. that? Yeah, what do they portray? You can't after walk that? away. No, so they gonna pick you up. You have you know. um, that's part of it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like walking away is tricky because if you walk away from one person, then you know you have to. You kind of have to address all disrespect. You know, mm, you yeah, have to address yeah. all even yeah. words. And mm-hmm. you know, I had an old head tell me in there like, man, uh, shout out to Macau Self. He told me he was like, man, he was like, man, you remind me of my son. It's like, man, motherfuckers talking to you, don't just let that shit roll off. But they touch you or they act like they're going to touch you, you break their fucking head. You know what I mean? You, so you can it's, you can play it. You just got to walk that line. But if somebody yeah. directly disrespecting you, you got to handle it right then and there. You got to handle it. Regardless of the consequences, you already in jail. Mm-hmm. If you about right. to go to the hole, if whatever's going to happen, I'm going to handle it right So right the next here. person can't do it. So yeah. the next person at least know that Look. you'll fight. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ain't got to win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but at least niggas know that you'll fight, and that's all it's about. Okay, okay. Especially with blacks, you know what I'm saying? Like they just want you to be. It's, you ain't got to. You can go in. I was in there completely myself. Nah, bro, I don't gang. Where you from? I don't gang bang, bro. Okay, you a soldier though? Yeah, I'm a soldier, bro. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's okay. all black people yeah, care yeah, about. Yeah, like, man, yeah, if, yeah. if a riot crack off, and I've been in a couple riot. If a riot crack off, is you gonna have my back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you know what I mean? And I've been and I've, I've experienced both sides of that, where somebody's scared to fight, and you know, they, they don't want to fight at all. So when the riots <laughs> happen, they like, no, 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 stop, 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 <laughs> please, come on, y'all. And you want to fight them? Like, yeah, just you, like, you better come on. Yeah, 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 you know. Like, so, jail, yeah, like at this said, time, it's, it's us versus yeah, them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. jail's real racial. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and they keep blacks' numbers low, real yeah. low. So, like, it'll be, um, man, I've been, in, I've been in blocks where it's like, it's, what, 40 bunks in here? And, mm-hmm. and like, I've been in dorms like that, like, where's, uh, or barracks. They call them barracks, and it'll be like forty bunks in there, and like maybe four of them are black people. You know what I'm saying? You think that's, that, the, that's, that. a, that's the prison design? You believe? No, it is. It is. Yeah, I, I talked to I talked to COs after my first riot. I was like, man, why y'all keep our numbers so low? Because yeah, yeah. it was like four of us and blacks OGs. A lot of some of the OGs don't fight. You know, yeah, they old heads. Some be like, nigga, I'm fighting. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some of the old heads they be like, man, I'm an OG. I ain't fighting. So when riots happen, um. You know, we, it was like four of us versus like forty Mexicans. You know, oh, and it's like what? we in there fighting. Yeah, it's like that. Damn. And I asked the CEO, um, you know, once we we was all hemmed up and all that. After mm-hmm. they, you know, separate the riot and all that. Um, I was like, why y'all keep our numbers so low? Like yeah, that's yeah, shit yeah. dangerous. Like yeah. it's four against forty. You know yeah. what I mean? We in here fighting four for our life for real. So it's like one against ten. Yeah. It's like <laughs> what? So. In the like, county, just think about that yeah, one against that, ten. Yeah, I was a rep in the county, and mm-hmm. when you're a rep, that means you're responsible for your people. So if the races want to negotiate something, then you go talk to each other. Okay, about it. okay. And mm-hmm. um, it was uh, it was four of us. It was me, my nigga Ray from Palm Springs, Blue Jay. 
I think Blue Jay from Bannon or Palm Springs, one of the two. My nigga Jay Sav from uh, Marino Valley. And um, I told niggas, I was like, look, we was in barracks. So it's, imagine like army barracks, a bunch of bunks yeah, just lined yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, it's yeah, about yeah. 60 bunks. And I told him, like, look, this riot is about to crack off, bro. Like, we had, me and Jay Sav had went and sat with the Mexicans. And they had said, you know, Southsiders, I don't even want to just say Mexicans. It's just Southsiders in general. Yeah. And this is in the county. And so um, we came back. The, the whole issue was, you know, they caught one of their people playing dice with one of our people. And um, they tried to come tell us, like, look, no more games for nobody in here. And I told them, like, bro. If I can't go back to my people and tell them, yo, we're not playing games because the Southsiders, the, the Sardinios, the Mexicans told us. My people going to be like, what? You mm-hmm. let them tell us what to do? What's the mm-hmm. point of having a weapon? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I told them, like, nah, bro, like, we, you know what I mean? It is what it is. And they was like, oh, we're going to have to have a meeting on y'all. Have a meeting. So right when they say that, I already know it's about to crack. Yeah, so yeah. I go back to my people. I'm like, look, this is the game plan. Stay in your lane. It's only four of us. It's about to be like 40 of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, stay, stay. Keep your back so the bunks is lined up like this. Yeah. I'm like, keep your back in your bunk. We fight from our bunks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that Nobody way they can't, can't get behind you. They, they can't, can't get behind you. Yeah, can't get behind I told him, I was like, nigga, you get pulled to the middle, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga, this right. is in the morning. Yeah. Man. So, it's, well, before I start, you don't know when it's going to pop up, but you just know it's going to pop up. You know it's going to pop oh, up, but you don't know when. That is just crazy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, it's tension. That's yeah, what yeah, they yeah. call it tension when you lock that. It's tension. So, Man, so you just feel it. Like, nigga, you can cut it with a knife. Everybody in there just looking at each other. We looking, we walking to our table. We walking back to our bunks looking at each other and shit, right? Man, a new cat from San Bernardino. I don't even know his name. It was his first day in jail black ever. Dude? Yeah, black oh, Okay. He roll in. We like, cool. We got another. He young nigga, so yeah, we yeah. like, cool. We got another soldier. Imagine Anybody, your yeah. first day in jail. You 20 years old. I was 18, but he was 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You 20 years old, nigga. Your first day in jail, it's a riot. Your first day in the, you walk into uh, a dorm where it's about to be a riot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? It's that's your first worst. day, yeah, your that's, first hour. That's bad luck. You're like, yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't never I don't know nobody. Jail. I don't know. I don't know you. I don't <laughs> I know, know y'all. Yes. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, yeah. So right. you walk in there and somebody tell you, like, come here, yeah, black, come on, we're gonna do your bunk and we're gonna tie your bed and all that. Hey, bro. Man, the Mexicans, we about to get it. Like it's about to crack, bro. So like <laughs> <laughs> you he didn't have time to reflect. <laughs> what? He didn't have time to sit down. Nah. Like, man, what I do? Oh, he was from San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my this God. ain't no disrespect to San Bernardino when I say the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was from San Bernardino. <laughs> <laughs> now, the nigga was like, uh, he was like, what? Like, huh? Like, what you mean? <laughs> yeah, bro, like, we about to riot. Like, it's about to happen today. Probably tomorrow, today. Mm-hmm. But we ain't going to sleep, so it's probably going to be today. Man, stay up on you know when you oh, step that's, that's, before you go. Like, damn, so yeah. it didn't crack that day, right? Okay, niggas is taking shifts. Like, bro, y'all stay up. You feel me? Because niggas, we don't know these niggas. We don't know if they down there. They can be making. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we like, man, why they? Ain't, you know, they say they ain't gonna have a meeting on us and shit. Man, the next morning, we you know we was taking shifts. Like, you stay up, and then we are gonna let two sleep. It's only five of us at this point. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like three OGs and five young blacks. Yeah. Was the OGs fighting at this time? Was they nah. all fighting? Not so only. Nah, these is J Cats. So okay. J Cat mean like these they on pill call, so they yeah. don't dope they dope yeah, things yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we was like, man, we don't want them niggas to fight. Just stay <laughs> yeah. out our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> So uh the niggas they tell us or they um the next morning, everybody up. You feel me? The old heads took the last shift, so they sleeping now. It's the morning. It's about ten o'clock in the morning probably. I don't know. We ain't had no clocks in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, like, that's it felt like, like 10 o'clock, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, yeah. So niggas is up. So now, you know, niggas is doing, going through the motion. We doing push-ups looking at these niggas. <laughs> uh, my nigga Ray from, from Palm Springs, he a Samoan nigga. All the blacks, yeah. brothers and others. So if you're not black, you go with the blacks. You know what I mean? If you ain't Mexican or white. Yeah. So, uh, so doing push-ups looking at these We doing push-ups. We doing all kinds of shit. Ah, you so, gonna punch me or what? Hey. Salute to the niggas. Nobody, none of us was scared. Okay, Everybody, so that, yeah, yeah, I got you. Nigga, I got you. Yeah, yeah, we good. We, like we have a plan. Time. You feel yeah. me? It's yeah. gonna, we know it's gonna happen. Yeah. Man, ten o'clock in the morning, bro. Big ass commotion. All the South Siders over there jumping, one jumping a nigga that was playing uh, the games. So it's like forty of them niggas on that one nigga. The one that was playing with the, the his, his day team. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. His name is Hugo. My nigga okay. Hugo. And um, Christian dude, he drew my tattoo. My, did he draw this tattoo? He, drew, he was drawing tattoos and shit. He used to cut everybody here. Okay, okay. So, excuse my French. He was a Mexican. Mm-hmm. 
And he was getting jumped by Mexicans. Mexicans, okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, for damn. for playing, I think he was playing dice with one of the blacks or something like okay. that. That's what the that's what the argument was about. Right? That's what they jumped him. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what our argument was about. Too. Yeah, like, ours was more so. Uh, was crazy. The, the conflict between each other was like, hey, no more games for anybody. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm not about to tell my people. Y'all told us we can't play. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, dice yeah. or whatever. And they're like, well, if you don't listen to what we say, we're yeah, gonna have so to have a meeting. Meet yeah, yeah. Okay. Y'all have me? All right. Okay, so get back to it. They so just jump in Hugo. They jump him. It's in the morning. So we looking. So everybody looking. And we like Hugo. So we kind of hot, but we got to mind our business. Yeah, you yeah, mind. you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Man, so we looking like, man, we should be minding our business, but. This is my nigga Hugo. <laughs> my nigga Hugo. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. this before and after the tattoo. This before. I ain't had no tattoos. Uh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so he would just draw him, though. But um, he was just a Christian kid. Everybody loved him. Yeah, 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 I yeah, put two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, when the, yeah, yeah. Why y'all jumping this little nigga? He wasn't going to hurt a fly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Christian dude, he used to come down and pray with everybody. I'm not supposed to be down here, but you feel me? Come on, yeah, y'all, yeah, let's yeah. pray. Let's, okay. yeah, you know what yeah, yeah. We're like, yeah, yeah come on, God. let's do this yeah. Bible study or whatever. Yeah, okay. So, they jump him. Boom. You know, uh, he go back to his bunk. Everybody, man, we talking shit. We sitting on our bunks, all the black, we just talking shit. Like, man, some bullshit. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, all I hear is, Serinos y camaradas, paisas. Whatever they say in Spanish, all them motherfuckers got up like 300, bro. Like, whoom. You can hear it. Like, whoom, 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 whoom. Everybody's standing up. Yeah. Niggas like, bro, kick your sandals off. Take your socks off. You feel me? Fight barefoot. Because you, you, you need know, to get that grip. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, need yeah. that grip on the ground, bro. Whatever you got, my niggas, <laughs> I ain't going to tell. But yeah, yeah, some, yeah, some of the niggas that was with us, they, you know what I mean? They yeah. were like, mm, let's wrap this shit up. Yeah, yeah, two, uh-huh. two pencils wrapped around a uh, comb. They didn't sharpen the comb. They didn't use the deodorant, uh, the label off the deodorant as a sticker yeah. to hold, make a handle, yeah. just to hold all that shit together. Yeah. So I'm, like, hey, I'm going to yeah, put this yeah. back in. I'm going to hit one. I'm going to stab. you ready. Yeah, 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 okay. Niggas is ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We already know. So... Um, this is the the dude from San Bernardino. This is the second day in jail. So he's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, all right, hey, y'all get up. It's about to happen right now. Uh, you feel me? Señores, come on Hey, get up, bro. Get up, get up. It's about to happen right now. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Remember what I said, nigga, keep your, lung, keep your uh, back in your lane. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. You get pulled out to the middle, that's on you, nigga. Ain't nobody coming to save you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, them niggas came down there. Whoa. 30 of them. You know what I mean? It's so many of them, they can't even all get to the get, front. Get to you, yeah, yeah. We all lined up. Nigga, I'm like, what's up, man? Oh, okay, so I, I'm trying to paint a picture. So, your bunk right here, your partner's bunk right here. Mm-hmm. So, they can't they can't run through the band side to get nah, you? Nah, so nah, okay. our bunks is against the wall. So, imagine bunks oh, against oh, the wall. Oh, okay, okay. It's, okay. it's three bunks. Yeah. So, you in this one, I'm in this one, my nigga's in this one, okay. and we got four of us just okay. lined up like that. So, but I can see you, though. Can yeah. I see? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. right, so right. So, it's like, it's like you know, the... the, the the bar comes like this, yeah. but it's open. Yeah, so okay. you're going to stand in front of that bar, yeah. Yeah, and okay. it's like, you got to face me. You, you can't get, get behind, behind me. You. Yeah, if you behind get, you that's why you say you can't get, get pulled. Yeah. That's when everything, everywhere. The yeah. first thing they're going to try to do, we already know the yeah, tactics, yeah, yeah. pull you to the middle and yeah. jump you. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. So we like, nigga, just, you got to keep your fight here, and if anything, back up. So how many how many people you think you get in the lane? One at a time. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it's so, like, nigga, one at a time. So you as long swinging. as you don't get yeah, pulled out yeah, this yeah, bunk. Yeah, you just got Between these two bunks, yeah. stay in between those two bunks. You feel me? Okay. As long as you don't get pulled out between that, you straight. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. only one nigga Until they come. Until, until security yeah. come. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So we like, man. So we, everybody getting up. The nigga from San Bernardino, he didn't even sleep that night. That nigga couldn't sleep. He don't know. He, he don't, don't know, know the prison system. Yeah, he don't, he don't know, know it yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? He don't we know. We would have all did it. Oh, yeah, we would have all did it, man. Yeah. man. Uh, so, I remember he was he was on the bunk next to me. Yeah. And, um, you know, he looked like he was cool. I'm like, yeah. you know what I mean? Okay, he ready? Yeah. I'm like, he got to be solid. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this nigga, this is exactly how it happened, bro. I'm like, hey, bro, get up, get up, get up. It's coming. It's about to happen right now. Boom. They all starting to walk down towards us. He like, What? <laughs> No, 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 bro. So, um, I know the, the Mexican nigga name too from Reno Valley, but I'm standing in front of this this other dude, and me and him, he was a rep, I'm a rep. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you right now, like me, like, ain't nobody scared. We not like, come on, bro. Y'all gotta. We don't want to do this, bro. But y'all gotta stop playing games. Like, you gotta listen to this, like, bro. Nah, this is fuck all that. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? He throw one, boom. He th- or no, no. Before he even throw a punch, the nigga from San Bernardino grabbed my chest. 
stood up like, no, 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 bro, wait, 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 we can that talk about it. Yeah, 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 bro, you can't do, do that. that. Like, you can't do that, yeah. yeah. Especially well, not to make rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're yeah. making us look soft. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, 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 bro, we can talk it out, let's just talk it out. Because he before, <laughs> when he said that, nigga threw a punch at me, boom, ducked it, boom, hit him, he hit me in my lip. Now, now everybody just going, yeah, going. Yeah. Now everybody just going. Man, niggas is trying to sneak up on the side of you. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, you're trying to get something in. Yeah, trying to get... Man, it was crazy, bro. I saw an older Mexican... All, all the Mexicans fight. Like, they don't have that OG's chill shit. Nah, mm-hmm. all everybody, oh, everybody fight. fighting. Yeah. Man, older Mexican niggas is like... I'm 18, 40-year-old, 50-year-old niggas is on the side of me. My nigga Jay Sav is cleaning them like... I'm biting <laughs> the one in front of me, not seeing this one. Jay Sav coming across my face. <laughs> <taking this thing. laughs> while was, somebody's in front of him, too? It's yeah. wild, bro. Oh and then all you hear is... <laughs> Which is the pill slot on the on the main the entry exit door yeah. that the COs come That's through? That's when you know they come. Yeah. Boom. Dive. When they say dive, that means them, uh, get your, you get yeah. you get on the ground. Nigga, <laughs> yeah. they about to start shooting something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J Rod pepper balls, something like bean bags, something about to start. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. It, it, yeah. Boom. Dive. Everybody dive. Everybody, it's over. Every, at that time. It's yeah. over. Oh, We've been God. fighting for about a minute and a half. That's how long it's like, man. Oh, God. Imagine them swinging, them arms swinging, arm time, swinging man. bro. Yeah, yeah that's game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, so you fighting, nigga. You fighting. You looking around. You keeping your head on the slope. You fighting. Yeah. yeah. J. Sab even cutting his face. Like different shit yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, dive. Everybody dive. Like no, like we would, nigga. You laying next. to yeah, You, you want to get? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody, you laying next to nigga that you, you, you socking on. <laughs> you, you know you. <laughs> so everybody barefoot, socks everywhere, sandals everywhere, nigga. We laying down, yeah. and you know what I mean. The bullies come in there and break it up, man. You know, after that, everybody get moved to different, like, all right, we're going to move this one here, we're going to move that one there. Okay, so, like, okay. Yeah. yeah, that was a crazy That's experience. That's a minute and a half, bro. But not, nothing less, y'all held your own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you how did Tom Bernardino do, dude? How did he do? He didn't fight. He sat down on the bunk. And now, they didn't fight him? Well, nah, because why? you got to think. Me and him is in a lane together, right? Yeah. So he like, no, 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 no. So I'm like, watch out. Nah, I'm like, nigga, watch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and the dude in front of me start fighting. He just sitting on his bunk like I look to the left like he said, he sat there. I'm like, no, bro, I'm not doing this shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel that's me? That's crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know if they, it, I, I ended up getting uh, transferred to a, a different housing unit. So, after after the riot and shit. So, um, I don't know what they did to him, but I'm sure that wasn't good for that him. That wasn't good for him. You know what I mean? He got to go. Because everybody do? was talking shit after him. Okay. Man, he got to go. He got to go. I got a question <laughs> for you. So, before you not even knowing the jail system, mm-hmm. how do you think you would have reacted to his being in his shoes? I would have fought. You would have fought. Yeah. Yeah. I would have fought. Yeah. Just because I was prepared to fight as soon as I got in, though. Yeah. I was, yeah, I yeah. was a little different. I was a little different. Though, at that time. You know? At yeah, that time. I was yeah, a little yeah, different. Yeah. And I was a little... I had to be even more aggressive because I didn't have no gang behind me. So when I yeah. got to jail, I'm like, I, I'm in here by myself so, for real. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So anybody play with me, I got to fight. It's just yeah. me. That's your you mind. That's your mindset going in. Ain't nobody yeah. to run to. Mm-hmm. You know? It's so, yeah. tough because it's like, like back to what I was saying, it's like... Is there really a nice guy in there? It's like Everybody's nah. Nice. It's like it's the best. It's the most respectful environment in the world, bro. It's oh, crazy, man. crazy. It's the most respectful. Nobody's gonna brush past you and not say excuse me. Mm-hmm. This is why a lot of people go back because it, it is jail is for people that can't make it in the real world for real. Mm-hmm. You know, people that don't know how to pay bills that don't want to. Uh, you know, they don't want to deal with disrespect. They don't know how to just adjust to society. Yeah, that's what jail is for. Mm-hmm. Like people, and there's some people that belong there. But it's the most respectful, kind environment in the world. You're going to meet the nicest people in the world in jail. <laughs> You'll have somebody that's a straight killer. Yeah. For yeah, real. Yeah. And they'll speak to you with so much, much respect yeah, and he, reverence. He, like, and then you'll think, like, how did he, how did he even Man, you yeah. won't even know he's a killer yeah, until somebody yeah. tell you. You know what I'm saying? You'll be like, oh, yeah, uh, I seen you talking to OG over there. Yeah, hey, be careful with him. You know, he can caught, like, three bodies outside, two bodies in jail. You, and you be like, huh? We were talking about kids the whole day. Like, yeah, you know, you know, we were talking about, you know. Man, he didn't pray with me. And he didn't, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, that's paper, crazy. Bro. Yeah. He crazy. gave me the Bible. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They okay. Like, yeah, he a real one, though. So just be careful. You know what I mean? Don't get on his bad side. Just stay. And, but it's the most respectful thing in the world. Like, everybody yeah. is like, man, you good, brother? When you walk into jail, first thing that happens in the county, they're going to take your bunk. They're going to take your mattress. You feel me? Because you walk in with a mattress and a box and blankets and all this shit. Mm-hmm. You carrying that shit. They take your shit, throw it on the table. Everybody fix your shit for you. Hey, bro, you good? You hungry? You need anything? You got you got any noodles? Yeah, yeah. You got people outside? You got to be careful with them questions, but... Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you yeah. got people outside, nigga. Like, we about to hit him. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro, tell your mom to send me, you know? But, um, yeah, it's, it's a super respectful... 
it's it's only it only get gangster when necessary. That's yeah, why when, when I be okay. like, that's what goes back to my point of when I see certain shit, I'm like, that's not real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I'm saying. The 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 biggest the toughest niggas that I know is super respectful. I was raised the same way. Hey, I don't play with you. I'm not gonna disrespect you because I want to. When I go there with you, I want to have validation to know that I wasn't disrespecting you first. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So I'm super respectful. Hey, brother, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. And then when you play with me now, that's, right. where, that's where you got to get Because I know there. I didn't yeah. do anything to you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I can go as far as I want. But yeah, it's 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 not like uh, it's not an environment filled with super aggressive dudes. You know, okay. like they portray. Like me, they picked up aggressive. Picture. The wrong word. They're not disrespectful. Okay. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it can it can it can happen. get there when it gets there. Yeah, absolutely. What did uh, let me? I got a question. Go ahead, for you. Go ahead, what bro. did what did jail teach you, bro? For being in there for those two years, was it two? I was in for a year. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So what did jail teach you? Court and all that yeah, jail teach about you from two. the outside. Like you know, what did it teach you? Taught me how to. Uh, it taught me accountability. Okay. Everything was your fault. Yeah. Let me explain. Me and you, me and you, all three of us, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just say one of us. Say me and you go to. We go into the store. You like, hey, bro, come pick me up. I know, I, regardless of anything, I just know I'm coming to pick you up, right? Mm-hmm. You're like, hey, stop by this liquor store. Let me uh, let me go up in here and, and get something to drink. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to kick it in the car, right? You go in the liquor store. You rob the liquor store. You get back in the car. I don't even know you robbed the liquor store. We just driving down the street, right? Police pull us over, take both of us to jail. Whose fault is that? It's your man's. Right. Average, the average mind, you're going to feel like, man, why didn't you tell me you was about to do what? yeah, yeah. yeah. In jail, you're going to learn accountability. That wasn't your fault. That was my fault because I shouldn't have had you in my car. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? It's always some way that you could have avoided it. Yeah. You yeah. know so, what I'm saying? But I, I will say this. Even if you don't know, mm-hmm. it's still your fault. Yeah. Even, uh, so let's say, let's say me and you as partners, like we yeah. partners. And, you know, all right, all right, let me stop at boom, boom, boom. You know, you don't know what my actions is. That's right. And I go do whatever I got to do, come mm-hmm. back in the car, mm-hmm. it's still your fault? It's my fault. Because mm. I shouldn't have had somebody that I don't know their capabilities in my car. Mm. Now, it's not necessary. I understand what you, your perspective is. Yeah. No, I didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I had a choice. and so I had some choice in that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And if I would have decided to not have nobody in my car, I wouldn't be in jail right now. You know, okay. or just have somebody that I don't know is capable. Yeah. Okay. The fact that you don't know this yeah. person is capable of that, but you have them in your car. Okay. Why? Yeah, you're right. You're right. There's so mm-hmm. many people that got killed or something that happened to them based on them having somebody in their car. Mm-hmm. You know, you, I, I've, I've experienced it with family members and I've heard stories. You know, I've had this actually. I probably, I probably put somebody in this situation before, mm-hmm. where I didn't did something to somebody, and I'm riding with this person, and I don't know that. You know what I mean? Or they don't know that I did something six months ago. Yeah. That's why you don't ride with nobody in their car. But it's an yeah, accountability yeah, thing, yeah. you know? You gotta you gotta always find a way of what could I have done better. You know? Yeah. And the jail teaches you that. It teaches that that's why the snitching shit, it's if you from that the street environment, this is where it, the disconnect comes. Because it's like, nah, you can always find a way to be accountable. Yeah. You can always yeah. find a way to like it's something that you could have done better yeah. to get yourself out of that situation, but you didn't. And that's that's where the perspective is different. You know, a lot of people that's in the street have that perspective of, nah, I should have, you know, I knew better. I, he shouldn't have been in my car. It's not, I'm about to tell, well, you didn't tell me you was going to rob the yeah, liquor store. Yeah, so yeah. now I'm telling on you, bro, forget that. I ain't about to do no time for something I ain't do. Yeah. The perspective is, nah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't even have him in my car. car. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I okay. Feel, and I feel so, like life, my bad. Turns, and I feel bad. like life. In general, people struggle with accountability, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, people don't take action today. So, form, so bro. Yeah, everybody yeah. wants to be right. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody wants to be right. Going back to what you were saying about social media, mm-hmm. you know, it ties in together. People want to, people care more about being right than being happy, bro. Mm. It's like they'll find a, have you ever had somebody argue with you that you like, I didn't even make that point. You're just making up points to argue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know Women yeah. all the time. Yeah. Women. And it's like, I didn't say that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, yo, I think uh, the sky is blue. Somebody be like, well, so what, you don't like the ground? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because people just looking for something to be right about, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's across the yeah. board. Like, that's how it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it is. That's all it is. Okay. What did you say, Terrence? Damn, I forgot, bro. I'm okay, no yeah. Um. <laughs> so when you said in jail, okay, so you gave me an outside look on it. Like, it gave you accountability. Mm-hmm. What, what, like, what? how did it turn around in jail? Like, what was that accountability there? Um. 
I, I looked at everything that I did in my life. I'm like, mm-hmm. man, I'm, I'm looking at people coming here. They getting, they going home, not going home. They going upstate 300 years, you know? Damn, well, he's just kicking like, he about to go, he 25, he about to do 343 years, you know? Or, um, they give you sentences like that, like 340. Just give them like 100 yeah. years, like why? Like, so they don't ever say like life, like they don't, they say 300 and 40. That's, that hurt go. more, that really hurt more, <laughs> you know? That, that hurt. hurt. I've seen people break down crying, like, yeah. I got to do 15 years, man. They go on, the, they just good ball up in the corner, start crying. Yeah, yeah. Um, You know, but back to your question, it just... Your question was, I'm sorry, I lost track of the okay, question. So it was the question, inside. Yeah, because you gave us the outside of accountability, right. like, you know, why not to have somebody in your car mm-hmm. or, or like that. What was the inside? Like, what was the, like, what taught you accountability in inside? The inside? Yeah. Um, just things like, I'm trying to think of an example. Because mm-hmm. you said, uh, like, things you can avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah, you, what, like, what made you, you accountable? In you know why you was in that's a damn or what what big what OG had to like hey nah like sat down and spoke to you like nah whatever you went in for let's say it was you know a, See, or it could be a lesson my, it could yeah, be a little yeah, different because yeah. I, I wasn't blaming nobody because I yeah, knew yeah. I knew I was guilty right so and I was I had, I was probably the only one I went into jail I had co defendants and I was the only one that had the opportunity to snitch mm-hmm. and they offered us twelve years in the beginning and I was like nah I'm just do the time you know and um. It was a group. Yeah, it was okay. like three, four of us. Oh, okay, okay. And I was like, nah, I'll do the time. Yeah. But I had the opportunity to snitch because I wasn't identified by victims. Yeah. So they they could have, I could have easily been like, you know what? I'm just like, nah, I'm, I'm about to do 12 years? Nah. Mm-hmm. But it was like, nah, man, we was together. That's you know what I mean? Yeah. And that was the situation I was in when I went in. Like, my homies got out my car and did something. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I had done things in the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you wasn't into that. Yeah, yeah you didn't that, do that time, one. Yeah, you I wasn't, that one. I wasn't yeah. involved. But, um, yeah, like, I was like, um, you know what? I'm going to just take the time because I knew, I knew better. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I knew yeah, I should have yeah. my car. Inside jail, accountability is just, you're only responsible for yourself. You At know that what I'm saying? Yeah, you buy yourself. You're yeah. only responsible you know, for yourself. No dad, no nobody. Yeah, yeah. All that's out. Out, yeah. You know? <laughs> and um, so being accountable in jail is just really self-accountability, just self being uh, self-governed. You know, this is what I do. And. If somebody have it, you know, if somebody might have a problem with your celly, you got to stand up for your celly or something like yeah, that. But yeah. outside of that, just, man, I mind my business. Yeah. And if somebody bring me a problem, I deal with it. But being accountable is just, I don't blame them. You, you learn that lesson as you're going yeah. in, so yeah. you don't even have to learn it two, three times over in the jail. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You just kind of program that way. So we, we know that, you know, 6 9 we know why he's infamous. And, and, you know, we all know the 6 9 situation. Yeah. You spoke on snitching. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a, a a a line like you said? There is there a line that needs to be crossed when it when you're talking about snitching? Like let's say, let's say me, I go to school, never been in a gang life. I'm in AP classes, or just say I'm the, I'm, I'm a model citizen, yeah. you know, grandma, and you know whatever. I go to church, whatever the Man, case no may be. Being no a- no business be, but I got a homeboy. We always been cool. I know his situation. I know he what he's been doing. And it's like, I've even convinced that person, like, yo, boom, boom, boom. You shouldn't be doing this, boom, boom, boom. But you are who you are at the end of the day. You know, you're a grown man. I'm not going to stray you from say. something. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's only something. So, we all know 6 9 is never was a part of that life, even when you came out. Right. So, let's say I'm just not a part of that life. I'm not even going to say me. I'm not even going to say 6 9 but let's just say I'm this, I'm, I'm this dude. And I pick you up and like, oh, let's go to some girl's house, whatever. Right. And, you know, you in that life. And let's say you got caught with something on you and I'm driving. So, you know what the cops are going to do, you know. Right. But I get caught and I say, no, it's not mine, such and such. Yeah. Is that snitching? Coming from the environment I've been through and everything, like, you, I have no... Affiliation. I have. Do you no know code. something's in your car? You saying like you don't know something in your I car? Don't, I don't know anything. And the cops, you know, we don't. But you know we, your homeboys in that we, type of lifestyle. Know, so you I know. know I know you too is you know affiliated. It or depends whatever on what your moral be. background is. For me, that's mm. snitching because mm. n- now I'm saying what I say. But when I say that, I'm saying I would if I did that, I would consider myself a snitch. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I was the friend that. You know, left my stuff in the car. I would be accountable at all. I'm accountable at all times. Yeah, right. you know yeah. what I'm saying. So, man, I shouldn't even left my shit in this car. 
Right. That's so, but to be the person in that situation, it depends on your background. If you know this person ain't like that, you should never left nothing in his car. Right. So accountability yeah. goes around the board. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to liken it to the six, six nine situation, they all, all of them got to take accountability. Y'all mm-hmm. know y'all shouldn't have this boy in, in this type of yes, environment. Yes, you know he yes. wasn't like that. That's y'all right. know more than anybody if he yeah, was like yeah, that or yeah. not. And for him, he shouldn't have involved himself. Yeah, you we had a, uh, we had a dude on our last or two podcasts ago. He's he was about that life at that time, mm-hmm. and uh, it's funny. Me and Terrence are in the situation. We go to a party, something happens at that party. He wasn't at that place, and one of my friends was to go pick him up, and we was in the car, mm-hmm. and he knew I'm not about the life. So it's just not what it was. And he was like, "I'll go take him home." He's not right. a part of his life. But that's how you should do it. That's, that's how you should treat it. Because he that's knew that's he was like, yeah, that's yeah. That's a big brother right there. Yeah, yeah, that's a big brother. Yeah, they yeah. got love for you, they're going to take you out of yeah, the yeah. Like, That's just take how it goes. You know, he he, he shouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's we don't true. even do crime in front of people that like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't even talk about it with people mm-hmm. that, yeah. you know, I don't do crime no more. But at the time, I wouldn't even speak about it mm-hmm. with nobody that. Uh, that wasn't with you. Yeah. Not even, it's a need to know basis. What you need to know for? Yeah. I'm putting you in it. Look, my mother taught me this too. I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, right, right. I don't want to know, and you shouldn't want to tell me. If yeah. you ain't like that, don't even tell me. I ain't about to go sit to the grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some things you just don't talk grave. about. Mm-hmm. You know? like, sometimes people be trying to look. Gangsters always side with side with weak niggas because it's easy to control weak niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And not, I'm saying I'm going back to the six yeah. nine thing. Like, yeah. it's easy to tell, boy, give me the money. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like even though how big he is, somebody was controlling something. You know, yeah, yeah. It's a fear there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But that don't make him a victim. But mm-hmm. you know, because he was, I got thirty thousand on his head right now. Yeah, y'all, hey, thirty thousand on his head right now. Yeah. So that yeah. you ain't no victim. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You using it when it benefits you, and you, you know. But I think that the the proper way to move in all aspects is know who you're around and know the capabilities. Like if this person has to even a, even if they don't have the potential to tell them. Mm-hmm. Why are you even associating yourself with him? Why yeah. are you even talking about or doing anything around like you know yeah, facts. do things by yourself? Mm-hmm. I believe in that. Like you don't do something, do something by yourself nine times out of ten, mm-hmm. and you won't have to worry about a lot of other shit. But if you in, involved in crime, you got to expect that snitching is coming with it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Somebody, somebody probably gonna snitch on you one day. But see mm-hmm. now, now, but now that comes to a point when you got to know your homies because I, I figure everybody is doing crimes mm-hmm. if they not by themselves, mm-hmm. they doing it with. People they so called they close to, um, close to their homies, yeah. right? Yeah. So you got to know your circle. Yeah. You got to see the signs. It's hard to say if me hey. and you, me and him is is close. Yep. And it's like and it and it and it be stuff that don't even have nothing to do with crime. Yeah. And let, let's let's say we talking about a female. Let's say we yeah. talking about hot cheetos. Like that. when I, I always exactly. know who's gonna tell. I can like as a street like. Mm-hmm. I, I could tell that he would tell me. Yeah, yeah I look yeah. at a lot of people like that. <laughs> that's when that's right. when the truth comes. That's when they, yeah, it's yeah, being yeah. real with myself because yeah. it's not it's not his fault. Like, mm-hmm. he, yeah. but the tendencies, like the ten, like you're saying, you should know who you're around. And right. being a judge of character is a big part of being involved in, in that life. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm. A, I, I can always tell when somebody to tell. Like, it, just accountability is a big thing. That's probably the biggest sign for me. Mm-hmm. If little things, they'd be like, Nah, man, like. You know what I mean? Like you can see, like this person ain't never accountable. He don't never want to say he wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah. even if they, you kind of, of you can have a conversation you, you, yeah, with somebody yeah, and they yeah. just don't want to admit that they was wrong yeah. about something that you just proved that they was wrong. Yeah. They'll tell them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's little signs like that. You could yeah. you could always you could always tell. Absolutely. Them. And um, I actually about a couple months ago mm-hmm. I started to actually look at my surroundings mm-hmm. like that. Um, I started to look at. The information actually it started about uh, a couple years ago right. when I was put in a situation, mm-hmm. and I was close. I was well, I wasn't close with them, but I knew them. It's like we go to high school or whatever, boom, yeah. boom. and it's like, oh, you know, I ain't got. I never had no problem with this, and we was always on a, all right, what's up, boom, boom. I'm not texting you every day, mm-hmm. and it's like, okay, what's up, boom, 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 and we talking just out of, you know, because me, my my whole thing is, I'm gonna show love and like. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the respect and I'm gonna give you uh uh I'm I'm gonna treat you as cool until you prove I'm I'm gonna treat you as innocent until proven guilty yeah. on that aspect. 
and that's my fault. Yeah, that's a because book. that's a super fault, and I didn't know that. Because yeah. I'm just I'm a, I'm a cool guy. Like all my, all my people who know me and is around me, you trying to show love? Yeah, uh, they they know. Like I ain't, I ain't got no ill will, mm. but everybody's not like me. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So I'm I'm confiding in you and just talking, just like we cool. Mm. They gotta show you who they and, are. And two, three, and two, four months later, it's like, oh, use that information against mm-hmm. me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's happened to me in the past. And 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 even with people in my circle, I start to analyze different. You now. got to. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks because it's self defense, though. It's right, but it sucks because me and my partner T, we grew up together. Mm-hmm. So if I ever see a sign that's like, damn, mm-hmm. this is my partner though. You know what I'm you saying? Feel like you got to treat them different. It's like. It's not that I gotta treat them different. It's like you just know what position to put somebody in. At that you you kind of know them. you know what position to put them in, but you don't want to put them in that position right. because you grew up with them. You know, like oh, I knew this man since middle school. Mm-hmm. It's like nah, nah, it can't be. Yeah. And then you, then you start questioning yourself instead of your better judgment. Like nah, you start it feeling like you tripping. And then you and, and then I you say and then you ignore that sign. Yeah. Even with relationship. Yeah. yeah. You you love this girl. You boom boom boom. Yeah. Nah, it can't be. It's I true. see the signs. Yeah, why yeah, your yeah. why, yeah, why your phone going off at two? Nah, yeah, my girl yeah, not doing that. Exactly. You probably think something like that. Yeah, it's yeah, like, oh, exactly. Yeah, you're trying to convince yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We all been through it, right? And, that, huh? and that's hard. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you got to make them. You, you got to for the betterment of yourself. You like it's you self, it's, it's it's really uh, you know it's a, it's preservation, self preservation. Mm. You know and. I don't think that you necessarily have to treat people different. You treat yourself different in those situations. You know, like, yeah, like you might notice something like, okay, that's how he is or that's how yeah. she is. Yeah. You know, you keep mad even, though, even with a woman, you move on. You mm-hmm. treat yourself different. You ain't got to treat her no different. Like, oh, now I'm going to treat you like shit until I feel better. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, until yeah. you make me feel more secure. Nah, just leave. Yeah. Treat yourself better. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And, and everything around you, it'll form around that. And then you start attracting people that are more like-minded. You know, yeah. but... Yeah, you definitely, you definitely gotta uh, pay attention to to the signs because the signs, yeah. it, it always, it, it's gonna. Look, my mom always used to tell me. Listen, before you get into this, listen, y'all need to listen to your moms, man. For real, because yeah, y'all the, need real. to listen to your mom. She didn't know who your friend and who not your friend at that time. Exactly. Exactly. She always, always tells like, everybody like, not your he friend. He's about me fool. He's my friend forever. Stop like, man, that boy, your friend. Yeah, you better, your friend. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh my god. I can attest. <laughs> Shout out to to them. My mom told me my first girl I was uh, uh, mm-hmm. interacted with that I uh, uh, had a seed with. You need to leave that girl. Like well, before I had a seed, you need to leave that girl alone, man. Yeah. But you know we 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 seventeen, sixteen. You think you know the world? You think no, you know no, everything? So first know time you, little, you didn't got your little nah, shit wet nah. for the first time. It's like, oh yeah, nah, nah, mama, I got this. Yeah, yeah. nah, nah. Yeah. Let let, right. let 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 the time go down. I told you, mm-hmm. but they but they not gonna they tell not gonna you. They not gonna, they not not gonna, gonna they not gonna tell you. They just gonna be like, so it's not going right. Huh? It's not even gonna be. I told. It's not. Gonna, <laughs> they exactly. said that clever too. They yeah. said that clever. <laughs> but it's not even gonna yeah, be. And I told huh? you so. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like because they don't want to see you going through that. They yeah. don't. Yeah. They you got to think. You got to think. Our mother loves us more than our pops could ever. Yeah. And I'm not saying our pops don't love us. Yeah. But a mother's love is is crazy. My grandmother say, "Walk on the graves of those that came before us." That means I learned from the people that was. That already even did this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't make my own mistakes. I, I learn from the mistakes that they made. And shout out to you for being a pops. And mm-hmm. I'm a, I don't know how you, whatever, boom, boom, whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. But we are the cheat code, bro. What you mean by that? We are the cheat code. So I say it like this. You had a life, right? Yeah. You was 10, 11, 12. Absolutely. You was in middle school. You had them urges to t- talk to Becky, mm-hmm. Susan. Mm-hmm. Oh, boom, 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 boom. You went to high school. Them feelings develop. You you got more mature. You still immature. Yeah. So you know, oh, this, this. Oh, your mom told you not to do this. You was probably sneaking out at night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You was probably doing this. So now you got a son. Mm-hmm. So you're the Chico. You've been through everything that little boy could ever really imagine. Yeah. Yeah, that's it real. So when he gets them them itches or them scratches, like, oh, dang, I, I have. It. You You can see it like, oh. Oh, he he got a little crush in school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He got a little such and such. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this: boom, 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 mm-hmm. boom, boom, boom. And it's it's so hard because now, and once you become a parent, mm-hmm. you know what your parents was dealing with. Absolutely, man. And and I can't I can't stress it. You know what your parents was dealing with. So you sit up here and 
I'm pretty sure all our parents have had us told us things, conversations, and you like, okay, mom, like, okay, One ear and out the other. I don't know what you're talking about. One ear and out the other. Exactly. It's a whole new time. Like they did, like they wasn't 17 years old once. Mm -hmm. Like they wasn't trying to, they wasn't it's all, all about these it's women. All, yeah, it's all You know what I'm saying? It's real. It's all the same. And it's, it's like, and that's why I say parents is a cheat code. Yeah. They have been through everything you did. That's real. If your, if your mom and dad, hypothetically speaking, if your parents were 16, 17, 15, 14, and you was 14 while they were 17, yeah. and you had a teacher named Miss Alice, whatever, mm -hmm. and they said, oh, she gave me that test. Do this. Mm -hmm. Nah, she didn't go through that in class. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to listen to you, uh, yeah. dad. Yeah. Okay, and now you get a C on the test. Right. Well, if I told you. Told you. Told you. And it's, it's a difficult balance, man, because our parents couldn't tell us nothing, so you have to... I don't... Each generation improves the, the last, right? Mm -hmm. That's how it's supposed but to go. Our parents couldn't tell us nothing, so you, it's delicate because it's like, man, I, I need you to learn your own lesson, mm -hmm. but I don't want you to bump your head the way I bump I mean, my head. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like... Soften the crash. Yeah, like, a lot of the things that I, I, I regret putting my parents through, my pops tell me, like, man, I put your grandma through the same type of stuff, though. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it is. It is like that. Like your t your parents know. They know what you're doing. They know they what you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and um, I see it with my son. I'll be like, man, boy, you, 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 you trying to play <laughs> me like? <laughs> 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 like they don't I understand, understand how much this. knowledge you have. You exactly. Know, yeah, like, you, yeah. you know, like oh, you know, kids. They'll oh, uh, you be like, go to sleep. Kids be like, okay, they'll be under the blanket. No, no, like, 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 so loud, it's so loud. With the flashlight, it's yeah. so loud. And then Game Boys and your yeah, shit's a tablet, yeah. don't, right? Don't make no like it's all the it same. Don't make bro. no I difference. Know what you're doing? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then they try to, and then they try to think you cooler than them, and then yeah. you smarter than them. They oh, try to so, outsmart you. They really so, try to outsmart so you. So my my son, my son had a stage when he'll say something. Because you know, uh, adults' wordplay is crazy. Kids yeah. don't know the wordplay. They don't know. They don't. They don't know the wordplay. So he'll try to say something. Okay, yo, you didn't do that, mm. so why was you doing this? Just like, why you got your hand in the cookie jar? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got they they got chocolate over their face. Well, I didn't eat no, I didn't eat no cookies. And you just letting them talk. Yeah. Okay, you didn't eat no cookies. It's oh, all already. Right. He didn't check the beer. Right. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Right. Right. I think he's smart. Yeah. 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 And then you catch him in a lie, but you gotta nip that thing in the butt. Yeah, yeah, you do. So with me, I put my son through it. Yeah, I I put him through it, and I hate and and I I'll never forget it. My pops used to tell me it's gonna hurt me more than it hurt you. It's a blessing to have a pops, man. Yeah, it's yeah. a blessing because we we you get it from a different perspective. And I have friends, a lot of friends, most of my friends don't have pops, mm -hmm. you know. And um, I can see the difference in me and them, mm -hmm. you know, because you're right. They can see it like, and the way you do your kid, and the way I do my son, like same way my pops did me. Just sit back. I'm gonna let you talk. You, you think that sounds smart? <laughs> you, <did. right? laughs> like, you digging a hole? You know what I mean? You digging <laughs> a talking. hole? Go ahead. And what else happened? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. What else and, they don't know. Yeah, they don't know no better, bro. Yeah. You know, so it's like I, I look at those things. I'm mm -hmm. like, you're right. It is like a cheat code, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, but it is a blessing. You know, my, my son is the reason I changed my life for real. Because mm -hmm. I had something to lose at that point. Everything in the street, even going to jail, everything is fun until you, uh, you know. You got something you really like. Nah, yeah, I can't you got something you got me. This is mine. You know, yeah, this is mine. It's my responsibility. Yeah, yeah. That, that how he turns out is my fault. Mm -hmm. You know, absolutely. How he look at the world, he gonna blame me for that. You know, mm -hmm. and I gotta be there. I got shot when I got shot. Uh, my son was eleven months. Mm -hmm. He's eleven months old. You know what I'm saying? I almost didn't make his first birthday. You know, and those those things like I looked at that like, oh, no. And, and the situation I got shot in, it, it wasn't like I was necessarily putting myself in a bad situation like that. It was it was completely unexpected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? And but accountability, mm -hmm. man, you got a son. You got to move better. You got to calm move down. Better. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, you can't be at these places. No I more. can't do what yeah, I used yeah. to do. And having a child is it's the biggest blessing in the world, mm -hmm. man. Like. There's nothing more important than that. And you think you're living until you have a kid. And you're like, nah, now I'm really living for something. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when it's really like, okay, life starts when you have your first child. Because how that child turns out is on you. You Everything you do affects that child. You know okay. what I mean? Every little decision. So, you know? Absolutely. I got a question for you, bro. Mm -hmm. You've been doing a lot of quotes about what your mom said, your pop said, yeah. your grandma said. How was your household back in the day? Like, how was you, how I, was you well, brought up and grown up? Um, for My parents, they divorced when I was probably like, 12. So I had the Did full... You were in a valley at the start? Yeah, yeah. Born I had and the raised? Full, uh, no, I was born in... Um, I was born in uh, Santa Ana. 
Okay. You know, okay. I moved, we moved to Moreno Valley in 98. Okay. So I was like... Four years I old. You was, four I'm years old. You, was, you was born in 94, right? I'm 26. Yep. So yep. you born in 94, so you was four years old. Okay. Yep. I think okay. we moved about 97, 98. Okay. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, I lost track of the question, bro. Uh, how was your house? How was your household? 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 Yeah. How was you raised? So my parents divorced at, when I was like 12, 13. And um, so by that time, I had a, a full experience of growing up two-parent household. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. My pops, uh, you know, hard-working dude, like worked for the railroad. He's been working for the railroad since he got out of prison. Um, man, he, it's just 22 years now. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, he's okay. been working for the railroad and he worked in San Bernardino. I always watched my parents get up and hustle. Yeah, yeah, Always, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, my pops, we had one car. We was we was broke, you know? And um, I would watch my mom. My, was, my parents started young, too, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would like this. Like, my parents, my, my pops is 42 right now. 42. Yeah. Mm, so, yeah, you was young. My pops 46, so, yeah. Yeah. That's and I got an older brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang. <laughs> that's really young. Yeah. So my, my parents had their first kid at 15. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? My mom was 16. My dad was 15. And then I came. My mom was uh, 17. My dad was 15. Mm-hmm. No, my, my dad was 16. Yeah, yeah okay. And um, so by the time they was 20, they had three kids. You know? Mm-hmm. So Damn. they hustled. They yeah. hustled. My they mom, to. Yeah. my pops, he dropped, uh, dropped out of high school. Man, these these and I, I can go in depth about them. They most my they my most inspirational yeah. figures, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, my pops dropped out of high school to work to take care of me and my brother. My sister wasn't here at the time. Mm-hmm. He dropped out at fourteen, went straight to work, worked everything from movie theaters, you know, uh, mail routes at that time when they mm-hmm. that was back Paper in the eighties. Yeah, 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 I used to do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, everything. My mom, she kept going to school. My pops worked, so my mom could keep going to school. Now, what kind of maturity does it take for a 15-year-old to go, no, you go to school, I'm going to go to work? Yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, 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 at that he, age, he pulled his there? pants up at and that said, age, I'm going to go do what I got to do. Man, and that's crazy for that age. You know, most pops, when they become, you know, especially in black community, you know, they be gone. Yeah, they start yeah, that yeah, early, yeah, they yeah, gone. Like, you know, I don't even know my pops. Yeah. I don't have that experience. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? My pops work. Um, my mom, both of them work. My mom... She worked for uh, County of Riverside for okay. years, about 10 years. My pops worked for the railroad, like I said, and um, I just watched them hustle. We had one car. My mom used to, uh, you know, wake us all up, put us all in the back seat. We dropped my pops off at work, come back. You know, by the time she, by the time it's time to go pick up my pops, um, we we walking home from school or we getting home from yeah, school yeah. or whatever. And, you know, or somebody, when we was too young, somebody had to come sit with us until my pops can get, you know, she can go pick up my pops and they yeah, switch the car, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, different right. things then, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So and I just watch the hustle. Right, and it's crazy you say that, bro, because you never realize till you're older. <sighs> because I can, uh, like, when I'm... How much, tell them how much uh, uh, child care is. <laughs> oh, bro, I, I'm not going to even go into that, bro. And then you, yeah, it, it's expensive, though. Mm-hmm. True, if you want to, if you want to lay down and, and pay the, and, and, and love the feeling, you better be able to cut that check when it's time for because either if you do it the right way and y'all got degrees and you got your lights yeah that's one thing big difference but if you don't and it's like somebody gotta go to work this child need diapers it's a realization, this it's a and, realization. And, and to my African American uh, family yep we don't want to be a part of the government assistance we don't want to be that's right we don't want to be a part of that you know what I'm saying so but to go back to what you were saying like my mom work hard, man. Mm-hmm. Like just going, waking up, doing this, going to work, coming home, picking this up, doing this, and repeating the process. Yeah, man. My mom, my mom. You would think it was normal as a kid, right? You, 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 like, you, right. you live your kid life. Yeah, right. you didn't appreciate it. Think you about this. School clothes and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, dirty and stuff. <laughs> you, you got an attitude at school, taking it out on your mom. Like exactly. you know, just any little you thing. Don't you, know, know. you don't know what's little going on. Yeah, exactly. I wanted those new Jordans. Like what? Come on, man. So you got to think. My mom was in school, getting her master's degree with a full time job, taking care of three kids. You don't understand the what level of, the level of right. and I went to private school. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you blessed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like when you grow up and you really understand what your parents went through. Yeah, it make you feel like, dang, I owe them everything. I mean, when you always love your parents unconditionally, yeah. you know, you probably not taught that love. Mm-hmm. 
you probably don't even know that love, but you know, like, yeah, I love my parents. Disrespect her. Oh, and you gotta, got no excuses for your own life. It's like, exactly. I, I, I gotta get it. You know exactly. This is easy compared to what they yeah. had. Exactly. For real. So it's like the appreciation, the appreciation level, especially, and then when you pop out chores, it's like, oh, I ain't got time to waste. Man, and you can't, and you know, you can't go home with coming from a family that hustle. That's why, uh, I don't ever like. I'm never going to be one of them rappers that like, yeah, my parents ain't do nothing for me. I never disrespect my parents being like, it was, never. you Come know, because even, even what we didn't, I loved what J. Cole said in, um, uh, what was the song where he says, compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we was blessed. We was blessed. Man. Yeah. And that Forest Hills Drive. Forest Hills yeah, Drive. Yeah, there you, yeah. go. you know, I think he said, we ain't having the best or something like we that. We didn't have it the best compared yeah. to my, uh, that's on that, um. Uh, when he was talking about, I want to sell rocks and like, yeah, you know, what, what, uh, what, I, I'm, I'm jealous of you. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that was my experience. It? I think oh, so that's, um, that's adolescence. Ad- oh, oh, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. But that was my experience. Like yeah. I, my friends around. No, that's that love yours. My fault. Yeah. That nah. is that love yours. Compared to some of my niggas down the block when we oh, was like, blessed. Oh, no yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah, that's you're that right. love yours. Love yours. Yep. And, um, yeah, that was my experience growing up. Like I had, I'm I was the only family, like my family was the only one on the block. For a while, I think it was maybe eight families on the block, and two of them had dads. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And one of them, one of them, wasn't like my dad. He wasn't getting up, going to work every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so I, I can never even be like, oh, um, yeah, no, nah, my parents ain't that. Like, nah, man, my parents hustled. You know, everything that I went through in the street is things I put myself through. I knew mm-hmm. better, mm-hmm. and I should have done better. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And um. Yeah, I would never disrespect them like they wasn't doing enough. They did everything they could possibly do. I just made decisions. Everything they possibly yeah. could do. You know bro. what I'm saying? Wow. I Absolutely. made bad decisions. That's all it was. But, yeah, that's that was me growing up. My, my family was like that. I, uh, my brother is a year and a half older than me. My little sister's three years younger than me. Always grew up just together. My pops used yeah. to always say, we all we got. You know what I mean? You leave this house, remember, we all we got. You know, yeah. siblings, don't walk to the store by yourself. You know, y'all know how it is. Yeah, like, yeah. You, yeah. you know, your brother yeah. fight, you yeah. fight. Like, you better not come home. If he don't come home. <laughs> you know, I feel you. Nah, you know what I'm saying? My best, like- fr- my best friend is uh, my sister, bro. And she's like three years younger than me. Because right. we was always taught togetherness, That's you know? You feel me? Even though she's a female, I'm a male. But it's like the togetherness. Like, you, you know, you... I'm telling you now. I tell this to everybody. Like, if I was to ever get into the fight, I know the first person that swing. Your sister gonna fire. Six, seven, nigga. Oh no, I know oh, who's man. fighting. We you know, you, you, you yeah, yeah. We get our ass. Yeah. And, and, so and it's I got, I got a question for y'all because right. I actually had a conversation with my little brother today about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, we grew up how we grew up. You know, I can't, I can't fault how we grew up. It's how we grew up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, do you believe you have to be taught that? Or do you believe it is what it is? It's an instinct. Talk like because us. I, yeah, as for like, as for like your brother and sister, how to treat your brother, how to like, oh, you got to ride for your brother and stuff. And that now that we're older, it's like, it's kind of common sense. Like, it's yeah. your brother. Like, you ain't help your brother. Boom, boom, boom. Like, because I was, I was telling him, you got to be taught. You got to be taught how to be a big brother, how to, sure. how to love and how to have that compassion for mm-hmm. your siblings. Mm-hmm. You know, but. Him as a as a younger sibling, he kind of didn't understand that because he's that younger sibling. Yeah. He's like, you should know that it's that instinct, mm-hmm. it's that compassion that you should have. It's so, not instinct; it's taught. Exactly. I think it's taught. I think so too. I think it was taught by my family, bro, yeah. by my pops, though, because right. the, the togetherness of us, like you know, like you said, it was just us, like you That's know. So, not. so I knew who to take care of. I knew, even though he took care of the family, mm-hmm. I knew I had to take care of because I'm the next in line. That's yeah, what a lot of black families is missing these days. Mm-hmm. Chain of command, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like mm. when pop say something. That's the last word. That's, like, that's it. Yeah, you, know you know better that's not say it. You might get yeah. to negotiate yeah. with mom. Yeah, yeah. You know that's what I mean? Yeah. Mom gonna let you talk and all Cause that Because she shit. got that. Yeah, right, Man, right. But when pops like no or yes, it's the go. That's the you know what I mean? That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah, that chain of command is missing, but it is it is like that. Like, you know, and I think that, I, I think that, that that's taught because I, I grew up with a lot of people that, they just like you ever seen somebody like fight their brother in public or something? I've seen that a lot. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. I've yeah. Seen that. Bro, that's your brother. Like me and my brother, like Never, we yeah. get our ass whooped fighting in front of people. Like, oh, you yeah. fight, y'all was fighting in front of people, yeah. each other. Yeah, oh, yeah. no. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't come home and, and tell that story. Yeah. You know, so my pops was always like, and me and my obviously brothers fight, yeah. but yeah, my pops was always like, man, y'all, y'all, all y'all got at the end of the day. At the end you know, of the and day. I yeah. think that's a taught behavior. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's yeah. something instinctual. Because because um 
I've seen a lot of people that have siblings and they don't they don't carry it like that. They like, oh yeah, that's my brother, but we ain't really close. Yeah. They're like y'all y'all live in the same house? Like yeah. <laughs> But we ain't, you know, I don't fuck well, with and, and, huh? and Exactly. And, and I can speak on it because for a long period of time, I wasn't, I wasn't close with my brothers. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not going, you're not going to fight my brother. You're not going to like, you still know, your brother, but yeah, it's still my brother. You you're not going, you're not going, you're not going to stump my brother out. You're not going to press my brother. I'm going to eventually get in the way. Like, nah, chill out. That's my brother. Mm-hmm. But it's. That barrier and that love was never there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Why and do you I, think it wasn't, bro? Oh, easily my pops, bro. Mm. It's, 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 I mean, and I and I hate and I hate to. I, I spoke about it before. I hate to um, um, talk about my pops in that manner. Yeah. But when you get older, and Offset actually made me realize by his pops. How he said his pops wasn't there, mm. and we have to always when you don't have that guidance in your life. Just like being a pops. If you didn't have a pops, when you bear a child and you have that pops, it's like, all right. You created what, yourself. Yeah. What am I going to do? I mean, you going to be there unless you just ain't no, you ain't no no good nigga. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? You going to be there, but it's like everything is new to you. It's new. So for me, my pops, he was there to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was a, he was a weekend pop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So he didn't, he, he used to say little stuff when, when. Let's say me and my brother got into it and he was around. No, you shouldn't do that. Okay. But you're not. But tomorrow comes and we we, we growing up. This is when you need to be instilling this yeah, into an individual. Time, yeah. This is yeah, the time. Yeah. This is the time. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't that. You think and it's I, because of his relationship with your mom? Not to get too deep, but. Nah, go, go ahead. This is every day in life. We, oh, we that's speak, okay. cool. bro. Yeah, yeah. So. Because my honestly, I'll give you my perspective. Like, my parents, they was always a hundred. Like, even when they wasn't working shit out together, yeah. they was a hundred on how they was raising us. Like, yeah. nah, we, if, yeah, if, yeah. If we going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You think it was that relationship? Um, I honestly think it was more of the fact that my pops didn't have a pops to okay. teach him. So my pops, my, my grandpa on my pops side wasn't in my pops life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not like so that. like he, like my pops, I believe he was like absent. Completely like, gone. Com- he don't even know him like that. And, yeah. Like okay. he, he he really didn't know him. He didn't teach him you. how to ride a bike. He didn't teach him how to um, the loyalty, like things like that. Everything was instilled from a woman, gotcha. and and no, no disrespect to my grandmother because she was a but strong a woman. woman. Can't raise a man. A woman cannot raise a man. Can't. You know what I'm saying? And my grandma, rest in peace to my granny. She was she was everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She was on them kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the stories how she would she would she would tell them and how she would tell us the stories and how I like oh you disrespect this. Oh, I'm gonna come. Oh, okay, the because I was raised the the belt is the rod. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So you disrespect that. I'm I'm, I'm gonna wear you out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember the words. Exactly. Yeah, wear you out. you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I don't necessarily blame my pops, but I blame my pops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he had he never had just like we talking. We never had. Well, I'm not gonna say we, but if you never had something that was taught to you, you either got two choices. You could. Not be what you was taught, or you can be all you know. Yeah, you it's know like what I'm you're saying. Gonna be, it's like you're gonna be uh, either. It, it's like with addicts or something, you know. Like exactly, it, either you're gonna be an addict or you're gonna be the complete opposite. You're like gonna be you the need to learn what you, how to do it, or you learn to never be like that. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So, so essentially, I don't blame my pops, but I blame my pops mm-hmm. because you knew what you longed for as a kid. Yeah. You knew. I don't know. I don't know your deepest feelings, yeah. but you knew what like wasn't around. When you start so bringing you, kids, you got to be re- so for you to repeat yeah. the process yeah. is 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 your fault. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. In in that aspect, but as in when you get when you young, you don't you're not mature. You're not mature. You're not you're not you don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So all you know is I'm gonna repeat the process, or I'm gonna take this feeling that I had, and I'm not gonna inflict it on the on, on my little one. I, I love. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or my brothers or whatever. Right, I'm going to be like that with my kid. Yeah. Exactly. But with a brother, it's different because you're growing up at a young age. You're still working out these feelings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with mine, it was more of a like, okay, I was never taught this. Yeah, this is my brother. You're not going you're not going you're not gonna do nothing to him. Mm-hmm. But as for that love and that connection that we supposed to have, it's not it's not there. Is that something you think you can work on? Um, I think I think I could work on it, it but it has to be mutual mutual both side, for both, both parties. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If I'm if I'm lending myself to you and you stuck on the past right. and you like, nah, I don't wanna 
I don't want to, you hurt me too much in the past. And it's, it's like, oh, I can only, like we were saying, I can only do so much. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can only give all myself. Like, dang, I was wrong. Mm-hmm. I can come to you and say, look, I was wrong. You know, I wasn't how I was supposed to be. And I'm sorry for being a bad big brother. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, after yeah. that, it's like, it's up for us to figure that to out. To meet yeah. each other in the middle. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? In time, that's going to change, though. As a child, I spoke as a child. I thought as a child. I did as a child, right? Mm-hmm. So when yeah, it comes to man, man, I put away childish yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And he he if, if it's a maturity thing, he'll grow out of that. And you just mm-hmm. got to, as a big brother, give the space to allow him to grow out of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, don't put too much pressure on him because mm-hmm. he was his age at one at, at one point, you know? And I would say uh, just give him, give him time. That that's a maturity thing. That too. You know? So do you think you, you should, have a perspective should, that he don't have? You think he should check in though? Is that a check in thing? How does that like work? Because if yeah. you give him time, what if he never comes around to it? What if that do go you just to one ear and not the other? Make yourself available. Yeah. You know okay. Like, hey, I'm here. here you go. Yeah. I'm here. When you ready, I'm mm-hmm. here. And it, it takes a lot of it, man. It, it's tough because it takes a lot of humility. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> bro? You might have to accept some. I've said some shit to my big brother that I know, like I wouldn't accept that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember him. And I know my at the time, like we kid, I know my big brother could whoop my ass. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, what I'm, yeah. I'm still gonna say it because that's all I got is words. <laughs> exactly. I know I can't, I can't whoop him. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. just use these words to mm-hmm. whoop him as bad as I can. Mm-hmm. And I remember um, saying s- certain things to my big brother, and, and him just looking at me like, <laughs> "All right," <laughs> like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right, yeah, yeah, right, you yeah. remember baby boy when Melvin like <laughs> he looking at him? He's like, "You really saying this to me?" <laughs> like, yeah, you foul, man. <laughs> Smell your funky ass. Like, and Melvin like, ah, oh, right, yeah, 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 like, come on, bigger than that. He made me do it. He made me. That's how you do it. I'm gonna get locked in. Look at him like, is this nigga serious? Yeah, yeah. And come back when it, you know, you know what? I'm going to let you have that. You won. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because that's, that's your position. Mm-hmm. You're the big brother, that's your position. You know what I mean? You got to be the mature one. And it, it ain't always easy, but it's always the best situation. You know what I mean? Because he's going to have so much respect for you in the end. Like, man, mm-hmm. he could have, he could have, you know what I mean? Flashed on me and he did But see, you, you always have that little bro syndrome. That's yeah. like, man, I'll be this. I'll be you feel like that. But as the older brother, it's like, okay. Yeah, see the thing okay. is though, but it's like the thing. Even if they don't admit it, your little brother always look up to you. Oh no! Even if they they would don't they, they'll probably go to the grave on it, bro. But they always, always look up to you. Even if they can say the worst thing to you, they always look up something to you. About you. Cause it's, it's yeah. something about you that does. I have Big a brother. Bro. Uh, I have a younger brother. He's ten years younger than me, so I'm um, twenty seven. He's seventeen. Mm-hmm. I think he just turned eighteen. He said one of the greatest things to me, and it made me feel good. So he just started working. Mm-hmm. You know, he just started working, and um. And uh, so, you know, he's getting used to money, you know. And my mom was like, oh, you got money. Now you going to buy your PlayStation 5? Mm-hmm. And, she, and, you know, he's, he, like, he loves games. And he's like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. Mom was like, why not? You got the money. He was like, oh, uh, T said, if you can't buy it twice, don't buy it yet. Right. And mm-hmm. when I mean, bro, I was I was about to damn it cry. Like, I was like, I was like, oh, he's listening to me. Like, you know, he's listening to the yeah. words. You thought he was listening to Yeah, you know, sometimes you just can't get to kids. Because at my age, probably, like, you know, I didn't have a big brother. I had a pops. But, you know, he, he was the inspiration. But, you know. If I'm working, I got my own money, and I'm buying it stupid. I was buying stupid shit, yeah, like you know. Yeah, so yeah. it's dope that he he like he, he has that intellect. Yeah, you that, you that dope, chico. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 bro. Yep. It's dope, exactly. bro. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that's how it go, man. Like sometimes, sometimes you don't see it. You know, I'm a little brother, so I can speak to it. Mm-hmm. You don't like the big brother. They don't see it until it's older. Like man, yeah, because remember you told me this, and mm-hmm. that stuck with me. But you don't know what that's why what you sticks always, to you yeah, always yeah. be a good example. Mm-hmm. Because you don't know what's going to stick. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that goes both ways. Yeah. The bad shit can stick and the good. So if he sees that, like, my brother ain't never apologized for nothing. So I ain't never got to apologize mm-hmm. for nothing. Mm-hmm. It carries. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just be an example, bro. Just and be that, an example. And that humility is tough because... It is. I feel like it's... It's hard. You know what I'm saying? From for different strokes for different folks. But for me, personally, it's like... I'm not the I'm not the emotional type. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like with everything I do, it's like everything is is a rub off. Some big brother because, shit. Right. And if even even not on that, even with relationships, even with oh, okay. even yeah. with my feelings, even with little things, it's like I'm not I'm not I'm not showing you my emotion. You know, I'm not I'm not because once you show emotion, you're vulnerable, you're at your weakest point. Yeah. So my whole thing is I'm not showing you my emotion. It don't matter who you is mm. because 
if you can take me on my character, I lost the battle regardless. Mm-hmm. It don't matter what the end result. It don't matter what the end result is. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and not always, and not always that I lost the battle just by showing emotion. It's just like, dang, I'm at my weakest. Like, imagine being at your week and it's, and it's like, damn, I'm at my week. I look at it different. I'll give you a perspective, right? Talk to me. I used to feel the same way. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, I ain't going to have not, when I, like, I, I tried to keep certain things that would make me emotional away from me mm-hmm. because I didn't want to have weakness, you know? And I knew that that would be a visible weakness. And as I, as I grew, I learned, like, that ain't, that ain't weakness. You know, the weakness is I don't have self-control. You know what I'm saying? So I can't control my emotions. It's okay if somebody know you. we all get mad, right? We all yeah, we all yeah. cry. We all all that shit is, it happens to all of yeah. us. The weakness is look, we are cho- we choose what we're offended by, right? Mm-hmm. So the weakness is I can't stop myself from being offended when you notice a little bit of information about me and you and you start poking on that sore spot. Mm-hmm. You know, the strength comes when you embrace like, no, I do feel that way. That does that does hurt. I'm right with that you. That does scare I'm me. Right, yeah, I'm right you know what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, sir. But I've already embraced that, so you can't. I already know that's. I live my truth. Yeah, I, I, I know that's what. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know what's up. yeah. I know what's so up. So yeah. you you can't use that against me. Mm-hmm. That's when you start getting strong. Nah, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. strong because you can't use it against me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. as long like as you that. have, as long as you have, we all have vulnerability. It ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when you get to a place where nobody can use your vulnerability against you, now you you're not fighting with yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that you said that. that. I love I love these conversations, man. Yeah, man, it's like therapy. It it really you is, know? bro, because mm-hmm. I've never thought of it like that. That's real. You know, like me as as me being me, mm-hmm. uh, just being uh, invulnerable mm-hmm. and uh, not letting nobody in. You got a shell and right yeah. and, and T being the complete opposite. Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna listen. But all right, that's how you is. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause you drive yourself crazy. I've done it, bro. I've, I've been on both sides of that. Like you lose your mind you holding your all mind. that shit in. You gotta let that shit out. Yeah. You know what and I mean? And the way you explained it is so is so so natural, so pure, so so like great, bro. Like you're not weak for showing that, but absolutely, you're actually not. stronger. You're stronger for Look, showing that, bro. Nah, that to, that's really that's really, nah, that's really what it is. I speak on that to I'm, you like a million you, times. No, a million no, times. No, 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 you do, you yeah, do. He, he does times. speak on that, but it's like he didn't break it down. <laughs> like you just like, broke it down. Exactly. Of course you don't say that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Nah, that that that's amazing. I used to feel like um, I used to feel like Malcolm X was stronger than Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like just because like nah, somebody slapped me. I'm gonna do I'm the presence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, it does take a lot more strength to turn that cheek. Because, man, you still feel... You don't think Martin Luther King was mad? He was mad. Nah, but he was yeah. stronger. He was a little bit stronger. And that's you what made I mean? them more mad. That's what made them, like... That's what made them more mad. still have me, like, you know, attack me so mm-hmm. I can really do this. You yeah. know? Yeah, no, oh and so it takes a certain level mm-hmm. of strength to control your yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? And that's a lesson that I, I've just gone through. You know, I, I went through a lot of family court for my son. Mm. And, man... And I'm and I have a uh, his and you. It's like you know what I do. Like you, you know what I mean. You know it could go bad, yeah. and I have to control myself for the better, you know, betterment of my son. A woman will push that too. Yeah, and, woman, yeah, yeah. And this is my my son's mom. We grew up together and all kind of stuff. So you know, and I don't have nothing bad to say about her now. But you know, at the time I was hurt. Yeah. You know, and I was like, man, like you, and it's all I got. It's my child. You know, and to try to I learned self control in that situation. Control, calm down. Yeah. What what are we really getting? You, you getting? Because it's all in here, bro. Like mm-hmm. your imagination, I have you worked up over shit that you know what I mean. Like it don't really matter. That shit ain't gonna matter in three months. It's not. Mm-hmm. But it's hard. And yes. I, bro, I know exactly what you were talking about. Because I, I, I literally, I took mine to court for the same. You know to. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like women are going to act off emotion. Yeah. And it's hard to tell someone who based their reality off emotion Mm -hmm. to not act off emotion. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be my boy Darrell. He spoke on it. You can't, you can't let them, you can't let that phase you. Yeah. You can't. Cause once, once you crumble Mm -hmm. as the man, everything else crumble. Head down. Exactly. Whether you got a daughter or a son, you crumble. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It don't matter. So that, that, that's a hundred percent. Self control, man. Self control is, is, it it saves lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? I used to, and going back to the uh, 
conversation, like you were saying, you know, you feel like you let words go by a like, lot. In jail, you like, I had to be like that too. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. It's, it's all about self control, bro. Like, in any environment, if you know how to control your emotions, then you're going to win. It's when people can control your emotions. Like, I'll get in comments and I'll be replying to people. I might even talk shit back. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, I ain't even mad. I ain't tripping. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah, doing yeah. it for engagement. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I don't, you can't let nobody can. When somebody can control your emotion, they control you completely. Yeah. If yeah. I can make you mad when I feel like it, yeah, that, that'll get you. That'll Man, get you. Yeah, that'll you know get what I'm saying? You. They got a they got a hell of a hold on mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. So that's I think it, it all comes down to self control, bro. Yeah. Self control is huge, right, and that's how I was like. Right when I had my kid, man, mm-hmm. it was like I'm arguing in public. I'm doing things. I'm acting out of character. I'm mm-hmm. doing stuff that I I've shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, it, bro. And it's like when you look back, it's like, dang, you had that, that big was goofy. of a that was trippy. Yeah, goofy. yeah, it's true. You had that big of a hold on me that I'm I'm acting ridiculous. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You out take your, you take <laughs> when when they can take you out your character, you already lost. Man. I could I could speak on it, bro, just because you know this is my boy, so I'll be around him damn near every like you know, every day at this time huh? when he had a kid, man, and, and that the conversation used to get ugly. I remember these days. I used to be around him like here we go again. Like, you know, he was a hot head to the fact. He was a hot head to the fact. Me too. Man, it, it it's a it's, it's it's different now. It's just a different. You learn from it. You know, you learn from it. It's like okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. it's, it's a beautiful yeah. one. Like, it's uh, beautiful. Yeah, once you under, once you crack that, once you crack that. Now yeah. some shit happen. I'd be like, like I I had situations recently where my son's mom tried to make me mad about something. I'd be like, oh, okay. Well, that we can go to court. We we'll just go. We we'll just go to court. That makes yeah, them I'm not tripping. Mad. Yeah, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm that genuinely not great. like that. Yeah, yeah. I had to get to a point like oh, like you know women keep the kids from you. Yeah. They do that. Like I'm keeping them. Then I'm not gonna bring. Okay. I'm gonna go on vacation like until until the court date then. Okay. You know, like, I'm gonna go have fun until the court date. Mm-hmm. And you gotta be that way. You yeah. gotta be that way it because sucks too. it keeps you sane. Mm-hmm. You can't spend your life, you know, uh, chasing around your emotions. Yeah. You know, and if you do it, it'll always end up hurting you. You'll watch years, years and years go by, and you'll be like, damn, that was six months. I was mad the whole time. <laughs> you know, I've Slow been there, you bro. Down. Yes. I've been there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, self control. Controlling your emotions and, and not allowing nobody else to have that hold on you, and you'll have a happy life. That's where peace comes. Absolutely. Once you get a control on that, peace. Okay. You absolutely. Know? Absolutely. But you got to go through it to learn it. Yeah. Absolutely. And just speaking on the cheat code for the kids, like, yeah. it's, it sucks that we have to, we, we can give them this knowledge, like, no, don't do this. Wear a condom. Don't do boom, 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 whatever it is. But they're going to want to do what they want to do. And it's like, okay, I told you. Well, and our then, kids are not ours. You know, like, mm. They, they, yes, you're my child, but you are a person still. So I don't own you. And what I want for you may not be what you want for yourself. We all done things our parents don't want us to do. You yeah. know, my parents would have preferred I've been a lawyer or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. So, you know, our kids, they, they are, but they belong to us, but we don't own them. You know, yeah. and you got to you got to have the flexibility to be like, you know what? You're a person. Like you may not, I like I like sports. My son may not grow up to like sports. Yeah. You feel me? I can't be like, man, you gotta, you know, you gonna play a sport? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna guide you, yeah. but I'm gonna let you be a person. You tell me who you are. I'm not gonna tell you who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when do you differential? Because you know, at a at an age at the at the developing process, you know, kids really don't know who they are yeah. until they're like 25. You talk yeah. them through it. You did. Yeah. You know, so, so you what, asked them, what made like, you feel that way? Yeah, you know, and even if it's with the sports thing, like me, yeah. I, I I try to guide my son in every sport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's baseball, soccer, it me don't too. matter what it is. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, I like baseball. Okay, well, all right, let's play baseball. Yeah. But best believe, I'm gonna push you in that aspect. Oh yeah, you gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Go quick. If you, if yeah, like yeah. my my sport is, is is basketball. Yeah. Like if it was up to me, I'll just have my son play basketball, run track, yeah. and, and do that. But that may not be in the plan for him. Right, you like. right. You know what I'm saying? So, my whole thing is, whatever you want to be and whatever you do, I, I guide you. Because my whole thing before I had a kid, it was like, oh, yeah, you playing basketball, you yeah, doing this. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know my you son going to do Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But when you actually get to realize it, like, one of the, um, it wasn't really a hurtful moment. But it was like, my son, he told me, like, I signed him up for the b-ball and everything. We played. He was like, I don't like basketball. Mm. Shit broke your heart. <laughs> come on, bro. I'm like, come on. Uh, you, you see what it makes the round of the Carry the name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I'm going to show you this. Like, look, look, look at this person. Exactly. Kobe. You're like, you're like Kobe? Yeah. Like, exactly. 
man. but you gotta you gotta realize that like you said they're the only human being yeah. but just like I will push myself in basketball I'm gonna push you in track I'm gonna push you in baseball hey. I'm gonna push you in golf and that's what I'm it comes down to I'm gonna push you in reading whatever it is we're gonna have morals and mm-hmm. we're gonna have principles but your path is your path but train up a child in the way they should go facts and they'll never depart mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm give you more I'm gonna give you a foundation you know yeah. what I'm saying this is your morals this is your principles you gonna work. I don't care what you yeah, work at. Yeah, yeah. But you gonna work your ass off. You know, yeah. we gonna be try to be the best we can be at whatever you do. At whatever you do. But you know, where which direction you go, that's your choice. But you are gonna be the best, and or you gonna be the best that you can be. And mm-hmm. honestly, God do us the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like you have a choice. We all have choice. You know. But your path is always gonna get, the way. Your path is always your path. You just have a choice in direction. You know what I'm saying? You can go just still around. going that. Yeah, you're, you're still going here. Way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can go straight there. You can go around. You can do all this. But you're gonna end up right here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's how you train your kids. You gonna you gonna work hard. I don't care how you work or where, <laughs> but you gonna work. And you just put the morals in and let them make choices around it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. All right, man. Let's hop on. Uh, I love where the conversation went. Um. Real quick, I just want to notice we kind of dived off the um, the music topic. Yeah. But I want to know your top five artists of all time. All time? My, all time. my, my personal, Yours, favorite. Personal, personal favorite. favorite? Your personal favorite. Okay. 50 Cent is my first favorite. Okay. Mm, okay. I, I, I just love his songwriting. I learned mm-hmm. how to songwrite from listening to mm-hmm. Okay, okay. 50. Um. Great. Yeah, 50's 50's my first. Mm. I'm going to say Buster Rhymes is my second. Mm. Okay. And that's because of the, the, I learned what an MC was watching Buster Rhymes, the way he controls the crowd, energy, yeah, yeah. animation, how, yeah, to, how yeah. to shoot a music video. I learned that from Buster Rhymes. Wow, yeah, okay. Just being an overall entertaining rapper, mm-hmm. I learned that from Buster Rhymes, the wild outfits and shit like that when we was growing up. The movements, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah okay, okay. And he had dope lyricist. Mm-hmm. I don't think he get enough credit as a lyricist. I'm going to go Wayne. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put Wayne on the list just for the work ethic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wayne got 100,000 songs. I believe that. <laughs> no, for I think real. So. No, for real. I think so, too. I, no, for real. Yeah, I believe it. He a monster. <laughs> right. Monster. Mm. And for, for his longevity, I think that being a star at a kid all the way up to where he's 20 like, years, yeah. 25 yeah. years. And reinvent himself from where he was at that time to where he kind of went mid. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. Like, he was special, bro. Yeah. Special. So that's three. I'm going to go um, Jay. Okay. Jay is, he inspires me the most with words. Yeah. yeah. He the one taught me I'm inspired by words, mm-hmm. just listening to him. And um, that fifth spot tough. You got a lot of hitters out there. Nipsey. Nipsey. Nipsey for the, yeah, yeah. Just from, for the entrepreneur aspect, mm-hmm. um, I can identify with. I can identify with uh, his whole image, like the way mm-hmm. he carry himself. Um, just the entrepreneur factor, you know what I mean? The way the way he the way he envisioned the world, mm-hmm. I think that was huge. Mm-hmm. Um, and his, his music is timeless. The way Jay's is to me, yeah. I think yeah, those I lyrics apply to any generation. If he if he was came out in nineteen eighty, he was yeah. those lyrics would still apply. Yeah, if he comes out twenty years from now. So, his lyrics still gonna pop. Yeah. So yeah, I would go fifty, bus, um, Jay, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. and Nip. No order, just the top five. Uh, yeah, yeah. I put I put fifty at number one just one, because of yeah, yeah. what it meant. Mm-hmm. What is his songwriting? He he taught uh me a lot about being myself and that interaction with him. Mm-hmm. So fifty yeah. fifty is that guy for me. Nipsey, no I don't even think anybody knows this, but Nipsey actually made me become a businessman. Like, when he passed, like, I was a Nipsey fan, yeah. always, but when he passed, you know how it sucks to say, um, I became an influence of, of him and his business endeavors, and he's opened up clubs, and I'm like, dang, and like, Shit. you actually start to uh, close escrow. Cultural. Yeah, Just you know what I'm saying? Just across the board, culture. Yeah, he actually, maybe, he maybe want to read, he maybe want to seek knowledge, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so, still, you ain't, you don't feel like it's 
I'm soft or I'm a nerd yeah. because yeah. that's what I love about, about him. It, it didn't seem like he was out of reach either. It no. seemed like he was home. It seemed like that's, you know. It seemed like yeah. he wasn't far away. You yeah. know, he always spoke on it. He was there. He, he was made needed. you a vision. Yeah, yeah. So that's what made him really more influenced yeah. to people. Like, yeah, he's here. He's like you know, he's that active. community. He, he loved. Yeah, that he loved that community. Yeah, so. and they love him. Yeah, and he was. He, on, he was supposed yeah. to be untouchable. Yeah, you know, yeah. he's supposed to be. Yeah, and look, they say a conversation will be should we not do that? You know, like, should we not uh, start businesses in our hoods and should we move out? Should yeah. we, like, nah, just yeah. go take that shit to Irvine. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Irvine. Yeah. And <laughs> this is what I tell people. The, the motivation behind that thought process mm-hmm. would be look what can happen, right? Mm-hmm. And we don't tell that. There's pr- plenty of rappers that rap about bullshit. Nice. 100%. And do bullshit. 100%. That we don't tell them to stop doing that. You know what I mean? So, and they get killed doing bullshit. But we yeah. don't say, hey, stop doing that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A rapper get killed doing some bullshit. He shouldn't have been there. Or he shouldn't have been doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people be like, oh, man. You know what I mean? R.I.P. But ain't nobody going to change their ways. So why should we change our ways in the reverse? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If if Nipsey getting killed the way he got killed in front of his business, a lot of people attribute that to being um, too accessible. Mm-hmm. You know? But when people get killed for whatever else, yeah, yeah, we don't give, we don't be like, oh, every every rapper needs to stop doing bullshit. Yeah, yeah we don't yeah. we don't say that. Yeah, no, we so don't. don't say it for Nip. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't don't try to. Take the one positive. We try to turn the narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. be like, no, nah, we need to stop doing all positive shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Like, because nigga got killed. So he got killed. Well, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. do that. Yeah, nah, yeah you're right. You're nah. right. I see what you're getting at, bro. If, yeah. if we ain't going to tell the bullshit to stop, mm-hmm. you know, stop doing this bullshit because you can get killed, don't tell us to stop doing this positive shit because you can get killed. Yeah, you feel what I'm right, saying? Right. That's, where, that's how I feel about that. Mm-hmm. So, I would do the same thing. I don't think he should have did anything different. Yeah, he did, yeah. He did I don't it think the right way. I thought that was the right way, bro. And how he went out, it's unfortunate, yeah. but, and that's an understatement, right? Yeah. yeah. But, man, that the, the the legacy that that man left on the world, it just goes to show you everything that you put out is going to come back, whether you're here to see it or not. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He was speaking at an early age, too, and you can really yeah. go back and, like, really be like, he spoke this into fluency. Yeah. Like, he, he's talked about this. He, he knew spoke, his purpose. Yeah, he knew his purpose, knew his bro. Purpose. And he fulfilled it, for he sure. He fulfilled it, bro. Like I said, you can listen to an interview right now. You would think he's still like, you know, you Man, don't even yet, feel like he gone. Gone and don't yeah. feel like he gone. He's going to, just like Pac. Just yep. like, you know, you, like could, you listen to Pac right now. They'd be like, damn, are we talking about life right now? That's like, real you know, shit. That's why people thought he was alive for so much because the the voice, the real voices in his head. Like, you know, it, yeah. it's really nuts, bro. His perspective. His those perspectives are needed. Bro. I think we missing that in hip hop right now, but it'll come. Somebody yeah. will come. You know? Somebody will come. You remember yeah. when, uh, what, what album is that when Kendrick got Tupac on that interview? Uh, 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 Mortimer. 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 Yeah, yeah, Mortimer. Mortimer. Yeah, 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 bro. Like, when you hear that interview, like, he's yeah. here. Like, Pac is here, bro. Even the, um, I've seen Pac interviews where he's talking about, damn, I should have put Pac in my five. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pac. Pac, is my, Pac is there. I'm yeah. gonna, I would take Wayne out and put Pac. Okay, okay. okay. I can't argue that. I can't yeah. argue that. Yeah, yeah. Pac yeah. is there. I'm going to take Wayne out and put Pac. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pac is. Pac is there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's Pac, man. Like he probably, might, he, I probably put him above fifty. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's Pac. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I've heard him speak about everything from you know Trump to you know poverty and you know how yeah. to like even the. It's interesting. I don't know if y'all seen the clip where he's talking about like be, make rappers be accountable for what they say in their mm-hmm. lyrics. Like all that, all that is like yeah, man. It's now, yeah, it's happening now, bro. It's still, it's still matters, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's still, it's still uh, prevalent. So I think Pac, Pac is yeah for sure. Pac is in my top two people. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely with that. Absolutely. Uh, so now we're gonna go into a little segment. Cross my T's, dot my eyes. Right. So yeah. with this segment, bro, uh, it's more goofy, bro. It's more like you know questions I'm gonna ask you. And uh, just give me the best answer you could possibly give me. Right. It's lighthearted, bro. It, it's, it's for a good time. So, sure. All right, let's go. Let me get to him. Uh, I got one for you. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson or talk like Mike Tyson for the rest of your life? I do a hell of a good uh, Mike Tyson impression. Okay. A hell of a good one. I just put a skit up today, too, doing it. Okay. Doing it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Y'all want to hear it? Yes, sir. 
So in the skit, I go, uh, I'm like, I'm interviewing Mike. Yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, Mike, how you doing? Oh, praise to Allah, brother. I'm happy. How are you? <laughs> hey, I'm just happy. I don't have any crazy people around me anymore. I, don't want, I used to watch, I used to watch Sugaway Lennon. He was fighting and he was throwing punches and he was throwing punches and he's dodging punches. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a student of war. I know warriors. I know all warriors. I know all the great warriors. I know Hannibal. I know Alexander. I know all of them. He's no Alexander. I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. <laughs> so would you would you rather so, <laughs> talk to me? That's good. That's good. So uh, was it, would so, I rather fight him? Would you rather fight Mike Tyson uh, or would you rather talk to like him for the rest of your life? I'm a student of war. I'm going to talk like I'm for the rest of my life. Uh, okay. I ain't fighting that nigga. Uh, yeah, 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 crazy. yeah. I don't care if he's 75. Bro, I ain't fighting him. It's funny that you say that, bro, because he always talk about how calm he is. Oh, you yeah. know he was going through some shit. <laughs> when Mike, you know, you, you know his yeah, Remember I told y'all, them OGs, that yeah. Mike would have been a killer if it wasn't for boxing. Yeah, oh my God. For sure. Killer, boxing bro. saved us from Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout talk out to Mike. you. How I love you, Terrence? What did you do? Um... I love my voice, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then fighting that man. One time? You want to fight him one time? One time? I mean, I'm I didn't say gloves. I didn't say gloves. This might be your last time. Yeah, you might get one you shot. You might not be able to talk again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long you got to fight him for? Yeah, you know. You just got to fight him. Uh, Mike is a monster, man. Mike so like is a monster. You know, he don't care. Like, don't care. If a person... I talk, yeah, to, yeah. I talk like him. Yeah, 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 okay, I'm okay, not okay. I'm not taking that swing from you. Okay, okay, okay. Would you rather fuck your dream girl in high school mm-hmm. or go back in time and change the worst childhood sports loss you had? Oh, that's good. I deflect on you. Fuck my dream girl in high school? Yeah, would you rather in fuck the dream school. girl that you, like, you know, you everybody had a crush, like a dream, like a crush uh-huh. you had in high school? Or you I would change that worst loss. That worst loss in high school. Oh, not high school, but just any worst childhood loss. Yeah, that's a good loss. Mm-hmm. Man. I probably fuck my dream girl because I can get her pregnant that one time and then we we she stuck with me for the rest yeah, of my life. Rest of your life. You know what I mean? You used to think me. like that, like I just need one try. Yeah. yeah. We attached some way. Yeah, we uh, attached some way. I'm yeah. yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm probably gonna fuck my dream girl. I like yeah. LMA right now too. So I'm, Ooh, I'm, I'm man, gonna yeah, I'm gonna hit pretty. LMA in, in, in high school and we're gonna have a baby. Yeah, oh, man. That, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Same goal. What you got, Ted? Long Beach Poly was in the way of No, like, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I thought too, bro. That's what I was thinking too. Back bro, in high that school. was a that bro, we were so lit. I had a great game. So close to winning. That shit hurt different, huh? It hurt, bro. It, hurt. it, it, it bro. stick with you. It stick with you, bro. Even though we was the underdogs, bro. They had this the you newspaper. Really felt like you yeah, the newspaper it. had them blowing us up by twenty, like get it get it in, get it out. Bro, we lost by five. Like, yeah. just a couple possessions, we, like, you know, it was just one of them games. It was like, you expected. Yeah, like, and, yeah, and that was our last high school senior game. That was oh, it. You, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. I know you exactly know? how that shit Yeah, that you shit know. Hurt. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what you got? Yeah, um, I'm going to take the loss, man. Okay, okay. Because, because you never yeah, know I feel, like, I feel like the pussy going to come and go, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, uh, um, That experience. Through, yeah, that, everybody high, always has a dream girl. Yeah. Right, everybody has a dream girl in high school, but once you get older, you find something like, damn, I can't well, so it'll be your dream girl right now, that or the dream girl you had in high school. High school. In, in high school. school. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I got my dream girl pregnant in high school. That was my son's mom at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Bingo. It so works. Not, I didn't get her pregnant. It works. Let me rephrase. I got the. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened. It yeah. happened. Right. Uh, time, I'm gonna so. take that L, man. I rather I rather go back and take that L because that L hurt. You know me. we have modern yeah. day the next week. The next now week we after. Had the- and then oh, we yeah. have modern money. Yeah. We was gonna be at a one that time. Yeah. We was okay. gonna be at a one. Okay. So okay. yeah, I mean, shoot, I want, I want, I want to see that chapter. I mean, I mean, you gotta understand a life, not life, but a um, a game, a mm. uh, forty-five, forty-seven, whatever it is, game, mm. and a, a twenty, thirty minute nut. It's like, ah, oh, I did it. It's like, ah, oh. but that loss, like, man, I, I'm mm-hmm. gonna take the L. You hate the niggas on the other team for life, right. man. man don't don't like, speak damn. to me if we thirty. Hey, don't, right. don't, don't, yeah, don't, right. bro. I'm gonna take the L for that one. Bro, Sean Prince. Uh, <laughs> ah, man, you went to USC and shit. Yeah, it. good, bro. This nigga you went followed to the that line nigga whole career. Like, man, I hope this nigga falls. He went nigga. to the line 25 times. <laughs> like, bro, and you know, was like, <laughs> he always already signed to USC, bro. And yeah. I'm a senior, so you know, I, like, you know, I'm not gonna call me. USC want this nigga. Yeah, so I'm like, so I'm talking to the team. I'm like, man, I'm 
I, I'm a, I got this nigga. Like, you know, because I'm the defensive player. I'm like, yeah. don't even worry about it. <laughs> that nigga had that nigga. 42. <laughs> that nigga had, that nigga. Yeah, he had 42. He yeah, you know, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's everything you understand. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Scouts is in the audience. Yeah, they just lock this nigga I'm about yeah. to go. Yeah. 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 He took my little ass to the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went, yeah, we, I was just out there fouling. Yeah. There's nothing I could do with that, man. Yeah. Um. Okay. I like that one. Would you rather share your porn history with your parents or your Twitter followers? Wait, what do you mean share your... <laughs> Would you rather share your porn history with your Twitter followers or your parents? Damn. It's more so my mom I would be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know yeah Pops like, got to stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going we to laugh about it. Oh my goodness, you watching this? Like, yeah. Okay. He probably watching the same type of shit. Yeah, you know. Apple trees and apples, boy. <laughs> Yeah, well, but if you, it, if you share it with Twitter, I ain't got that many followers on Twitter right now, so there you go. I'm, I'm gonna go with Twitter. You know, your your, your stream is big, so if it hit yeah. Twitter, they, it's gonna hit that TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the music, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm okay. Like, okay. They don't find out anyway. They don't though. find out. Okay. Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna I'm I'm just go Twitter. I'm, okay. I'm too, I, I, I just want to have some shame. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, man, yeah. I'll show it directly to them. Okay, okay. go ahead. I'm definitely. I'm gonna go to Twitter too because the way your <laughs> the way your parents is gonna look at you, your parents is with you forever. Yeah, they See, your, with you. Your followers is you like you don't care about what your followers think I don't care about my yeah, followers, but your mama, like, yeah, nah. you're disgusting boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. you just... <laughs> okay, exactly. okay. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. take my followers. Uh, I got two more for y'all. I got two more. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Um, would you rather be bald at twenty? Mm. Or five three with a full of hair. Mm. I'm taking bald. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like if I'm bald, y'all get used to it after a while. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. hit me and holler. But, yeah, you know that? Yeah. Hey, but you gotta have the head to shape. To you be bald. gotta oh, have it. Like, but like you said, you'll get used to it in the form. That's what I'm yeah, thinking. Five man. three. Five three. I can't be five, five three. Long, long. Long. That's a long life of being. I, I got homies that's five three. Like. Yeah. As older, like 35, 40, and 5'3. You so, you're a grown man, but man. you know, you're 5'3. You know, you know, you're know you a grown man. Violating them all the time. <laughs> yeah, you know. Nobody ever giving them no slack. Every short joke they get. Yeah. Right. You know I, mean? I know it hurt. It the short man yeah. syndrome. That's you always got to yeah, pull yourself. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, let me go. I'm going to go with the more chestnut, bro. Fuck yeah, yeah, the more. Yeah, yeah, you know, get some good brothers in there. Yeah. I'll I, I work it out. I'm going to be going on in here. So, hey, we going to cap on a nice bit of cap. Growing up, my pops used to cut our head bald all the way. He wasn't going to no barbershop. He was like, man, young. <laughs> Yo, don't need nothing. Straight all the way. Yeah, they wasn't stuff. going with the my, grain or nothing. Bro, nah. go back. Straight up. Straight my ball, dad so. used to make sure I get the lowest cut possible. So <laughs> you got to say this haircut. Exactly. <laughs> like, 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 bro, exactly. Bro. I can't even see it. I had them. Uh, I had them thirty-eight year old Kobe's. Like you know them engraved like haircuts. Yeah, like you can barely man. see it. Can't see it. You used to last. Used to last a month until we go yeah, in. For real. That's okay. how it was. So I'm gonna rock with the ball. Fuck Cold it. at the top. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Would you take a free throw shot to win a million? Mm-hmm. Or if you miss, you can never you can never listen to music or have a social again. Absolutely. Taking that shot. Mm. I feel like I feel like I'm I'm clutch at the line. Pressure's for pipes, man. Yeah, I think so, I'll take that free throw. Okay. Because if I don't take it, I can't listen to music no more. If you miss, if, it, I miss, if, 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 you, if you miss, if you miss, you can't, you can't listen, listen to music or, or have no social. social. Or so have you gotta no think, that's that's your brand. What's, what's, the, what's the alternative though? Not taking a shot at all. If you don't take a shot, you, everything's the same. Like you know, you, you know. Oh, so you can get a million, but you no, you, you miss, don't. You don't take the million. You, no, so if you don't take the shot, just life is just life. You you right. good. You just go back. But to life. you got a chance to win a million. But if you do miss, Damn. no, you can't listen to music or nah. have a social again. I feel like I can make a million, so. Nah, mm. I'm not taking that shot. Okay, Fuck okay. That. I'll go make me a million. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you, I, you I, a shooter, so... Okay, a three-point yeah, three point shot. One shot. No, you said free throw. I know, I, know, I, know, so, so I, I know what I said, so I'm going to make it spicier for you. Just because you you know, you know play basketball. You, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Three-point um, shot, million, no music or social media again. Really? It's like, the you music, just can't it's the, hear it. It's the music that's getting Yeah, yeah it's the music. The social you know? media, I don't really care about right. because I've been like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did y'all see that? Nah, I didn't see I mean, all right. As long as you got that music, you can live. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's the music that's getting me. But a uh, three-point shot... You would never headbop again. Like, you, you think yeah, about it. You, you, like, you never, see people in the car Music like, is so... Contr- but you just... Yeah, I wonder what they're listening to. Your brain did. You just can't... You just can't hear it. Yeah. Yeah, what you doing, bro? A free throw, I'm definitely taking a free throw. A three-point... A million, though. That can change my life. Get it. Tell me, nigga. But a three point, it. that that extra little three feet is that tough. Feet, yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. That, that, that's going to change a whole lot of shit. Yeah, that's, that's for sure, no, for me. 
Yeah, music, bro. You know, that's an inspiration. Like now, you free just throw. Think, I, I can understand that. Yeah, the yeah, free throw, yeah. I'm, a free throw, I'm taking it for show. Sure. Three, three pointer. pointer. I'm a bet against the odds. Okay, Ooh, okay. I'm a bet against the odds. Okay. That's tough. That is. All right, now this is my last one, and it's a great question for both of y'all since y'all parents. And y'all probably been through this shit. Mm. So, do five years in jail or pay child support knowing the kid is not yours? Oh, oh, yeah. oh what? <laughs> what Kobe say? <laughs> So, yeah. I'll be sitting there like, what's for child, y'all? Yeah, it's for and child. I hated child. I hated, <laughs> hated child yeah, every yeah. single day. I hated it, bro. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go home every, every minute single, of yeah, every day. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Five Tell me years. That. Yeah. I'll be in that bitch doing it like, yeah, okay, so what is that? Five years? That's like 12 months a year, 60 months. Okay, so 60 months. I got to like, what do like, what, 365 mm-hmm. days every week? <laughs> yeah, you got to break it down. Summer oh, winning, summer winning. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to sit there through that. I'm going to figure it out. Well, I ain't not, but man. Child yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's not but kid, yours, that's not but 18? That's not sure. 18, bro. Hey, I need my bread, bro. 18? Dang, five that's two decades, children. bro. That's that's a lifetime. That, yeah. That 18, is. Yeah. If you make it that and far, you're knowing, you are, you and you're knowing the kid, and you're knowing and the kid. You know like that. Oh. Talk to me, Terrence. What you got? Shout out to Ray Caruth. I don't want to know Ray Caruth. Y'all know who Ray Caruth is? Nah. I don't know who that? Man, it's who? It's an old uh, Panthers player. He got a girl pregnant. Okay. And he had to uh, put a hit on her. Put a hit on her so she wouldn't have the baby. Shot her. Shot her. Somebody shot her. I think she ended up dying, but the baby was born. But he wasn't sure if the baby was his or not. And then yeah. Yeah, it was a crazy story. It was a case. It was a crazy story. I, I think I would lose my mind that way. Yeah, if I felt like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like, yeah. if I got to pay eighteen years, I feel like I would lose my mind. Yeah, and be like, nah, I'm putting a hit on this. And you know when it's not your <laughs> kid. You know it's not your kid. You just know it, but you're paying child support. I would, I, I would snap. Yeah, yeah, I would snap, yeah. bro. Yeah. Just give me the five now, because I'm gonna end up doing life anyway. Give me the five. Fuck yeah. You. Okay, yeah, talk to me. What you gonna do? Five years in jail. Five bro. years in jail. That's a long time. Nigga. I ain't that's a long, long time. time. Yeah, yeah, that's Especially that's when you're not doing, doing nothing. That's a long time. Man, yeah, that's a long. Time, bro. I'm telling you, I did a year. That shit was long. <laughs> Damn. Think five more, five times. Like, so just think about how long you had little T. How old is little T right now? Eight. Yeah, he's seven. So you be paying eight. child support. You ain't even halfway there. You don't even years. know this kid. You know this. You just know what's not true. You don't even know him. Like, I mean, you. Okay, you probably cool know. Yeah, him. I guess you can probably get cool with him because you know. But you paying child support. This nigga ain't mine, though. Yeah, he ain't yours. He ain't yours. Damn. That's jail, bro. Huh? I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. All right, so let me ask you. I ain't mad at that either. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do I got a relationship with this kid? <laughs> like, at least build I can one. build, at least build, I can build a relationship. You, build, you find out, bro. You find out it's not choice. And whatever the judge says or what happened, bro, you just got to pay child support. Yeah, if you want it. Like, I'm not going to want to see that motherfucker. Like, I'm not going to want to see it. Hey, I want chips. I'm giving you 200 a month. Like, you know, hey, you, wanna, like you made a decision, bro. You made a decision. Yeah, so just what say, you want? Nah, just call me. Nah, I'm going to jail, bro. You're going to jail for five, bro. Jail. Okay. okay. Uh, I mean, five years, you know, let's say I get a pregnant at 17. I'm still young. Yeah, I'm trying I got to get nice. good time or something. We're going right. to work this right. out. Yeah. I'm being nice yeah, to all the girls. Yeah, you still have time. Yeah, I you got still time. Got time. Yeah, I time. Yeah. Verse 18 of them constantly. You might end up in jail anyway if you don't pay. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. Cause I'll be damn Me knowing me I'm not paying For no kid in that month so, Yeah okay That's the last one right there For the last one Yeah that's tough Five years in I'm snapping anyway He's snapping <laughs> yeah. I, I lost it mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy So It's that time uh, Nah we got a little Okay, okay, okay go Um, You talk about being an entrepreneur bro Yeah Um, gonna, uh, What kind of uh endeavors Do you got Um planned or what do you got planned for the future or just tell just tell me about all the um your plans for the future and your uh entrepreneur uh entrepreneur goals that uh yeah. that you have or uh, or you have planned well right now we got the uh the biggest one that i think people can see is probably the clothing line okay um the campaign clothing it was a clothing line i developed that clothing line based on the concept of life is a campaign and everything you do in life is a uh when you go, that's going to be a reflection of the campaign that you ran while you was here. Mm-hmm. And um, my grandmother used to say, you know, you you run a campaign on bullshit, you might get elected. And that's just mean <laughs> if you do stupid stuff for the rest of your life, you're going to end up having stupid consequences, yeah. right? right? So the campaign was just, um, that, that slogan and that name was just a reminder to myself to, you know, 
be more uh, business oriented, be more mm-hmm. positive, um, leave leave behind a legacy of positivity and not mm-hmm. just the street shit that I went through. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to, I really want to leave a legacy behind that. You know, it's something that somebody could follow as a blueprint. Mm-hmm. So that's what the campaign was for me. Um, so that's the clothing line that I have. It's Is the that campaign what you're clothing right now? Yep. Okay. Like yep. that, bro. Mm. That, that's part yes, of it. Sir. Yeah, I got to tap in with you, bro. Got to get some merch over there. I got some free shit for y'all in the car. Oh, most definitely. Um, I love it. Yeah, so that's the campaign. I got the folding line. Then we got the media company that we're developing right now. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the uh, the record label, which is Nine Side Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be that's gonna be big. I think once I get in position to where I'm going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and sign a lot you're of the right IE path. artists. Yeah, you're on the right path. For yeah, sure. yeah. Thank, I appreciate it. Yeah. And um. I really want to just give more uh, spotlight to artists from my area. I like what the baby is doing with Billion Dollar Baby, yeah, where yeah, everybody yeah. is signed from North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And being from a small market, um, which is really a big market, the IE, you know, with so many, it's Palm Springs, San Bernardino, Riverside, all the way to, you know what I mean, Pomona and back. So um, I think it's a lot of talented artists that don't get a lot of spotlight. Um, I think I have the, the business acumen to, to guide them in the right direction. I have mm-hmm. the marketing uh, acumen to guide them in the right direction. So, um, eventually, this is going to be at a point where I'm one of the biggest, and I'm going to have a, the influence and the, the opportunity to change people's lives. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to, you know, bring artists in, teach them the business, and do it the right way. Um, that's going. That's so. That's the entertainment company, the or the rather the record label. Mm-hmm. Um, the media company. I'm growing into something that I'm going to end up having a content hub where we're we're going to have a one compound where we have content creators, and it's going to be ran. Um, like a record label is ran, where we'll have we'll have content creators all signed to this media company, and they'll be all in here as, as a hub where you could just pump out content nonstop. Ooh. We can have a place a place where it's a compound where you can do a podcast. So you can come in. Yeah, yeah. We have a green we spoke room on that before the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah stuff yeah. like that where you can come in here. You can go in that room over there. And I was inspired by Max Maxwell, the, the real estate investor, to do that. Yeah, um, I for him. Yeah, I love that dude. I think he's he's brilliant, and I have seen how he created his compound to just nonstop he can work all day you know what i mean he has different areas that he can shoot his his content and i love that and i also have a, a friend of mine tato um from uh compton you know he was a manager he, he was games manager and games childhood best friend and, um you know i went to his compound in gardena and sat with him and just speaking with him um and, and looking around his compound he walked me around it. you know showed me how you know he had a station for models to do hair and they shot videos like the Ali Boumaier video that Game had mm, on Jesus okay, Peace album. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they shot videos in his compound. And, you know, uh, just walking around his spot, you know, it was just like, I, it, it inspired me. So I want to have that for content creators, you know, um, more so than music artists. I think music artists have an ability to have a mic and have things in their home that they don't really need. Mm-hmm. It's, it, I don't need a record label to sell record. I don't need a record. But a lot of people don't. Yeah, they just yeah. need guidance and, and um, networks. You know, yeah, that they yeah, can yeah. have opportunities. So I really want to go more towards, instead of starting like something like a music studio, I would like to start something like a content uh, compound. So that's the, what my yeah. goal is for the media company. And um, we got any other businesses right now, Mo? Uh, uh, but we're doing small businesses. Yeah, we're doing, we're partnering. We got a lot of partnerships with um, restaurants, you know, local restaurants in the area that, you know, we, we give them endorsement. It helps it helps for both parties. It gets me ingratiated mm-hmm. with the community, mm-hmm. um, and it helps them generate traffic to their restaurant. Um, it also helps, I'm sure, with their social media followings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the partnership mm-hmm. always makes sense. You know, it's, it's normally from areas that you know I would have been eating there when I was a child anyway. Mm-hmm. So just to be able to do those partnerships, like with Chicago Pasta House and you know the uh, Cupcake and Espresso Bar in in Moreno Valley, and they just opened a location in Redlands. Um, those, those type of partnerships are, are great for brand extension, and it's great to ingratiate yourself, especially when you have a, a street background like I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I appreciate those those guys that, you know, up there at uh, Chicago Pass House and Cupcake Express Bar and all the others because it, it allows me to be viewed in a different light where business owners know that I'm about my business. I'm not your business, not your, and, um, not your past. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, it allows it allows them to see me in the proper light. So mm-hmm. those things help. Um yeah, and other than that, we're just creating music, creating content, um, you know, and we're going to take this super far, man. Like, with my music, I think I have a, a formula and a plan that, you know, it took, we worked the kinks out over the last few years, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be big. Like, I think I'm going to be one of the biggest. I think I'm, I, think, and I know I'm, I know I'm more talented than 
98% of rappers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like I'm the best. Like, I feel like I'm the most versatile, and I feel like I can do any, any form. I do hip-hop on all levels. I have my PhD in that shit. Mm-hmm. So, um, I think I'm going to be sell a lot of records. Um, I'm going to be one of the best independently, and then we're going to do, pro- we'll probably, you know, discuss a joint venture with record companies one day. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? One day soon. But if that doesn't happen, then we have a, a enough momentum, and I know how to, I know how to generate conversation yeah, yeah. through marketing, you know, without without you know the help of anything mm-hmm. so they'll come knocking soon and um yeah man that's that's how we are we're working all right perfect you said something before we give uh our listeners a special sneak peek at your musical gifts mm-hmm. um you talked about um your influence on marketing and um how you get in these partnerships because we're we're in that same boat and you know we're, we're fairly new and, and shout out to the IE yeah. because I love that you uh, and that, and that's one of the uh, main reasons we attracted to you because you're based out here in the IE our our goal here on Everyday Intellect is to uh, uh, connect with everybody in the IE because we feel like it's 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 it's, it's a family it's a home you know we're not branching out to LA you know eventually Absolutely. when we get to that to that level peak we'll branch out. But we want to start home, home first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So um, you talk about marketing. Um, is it your team that's handling this? Because that, that's, is, is it you that's handling this? Um, uh, speak to me. This is this is for I love us. This. I love these conversations. Yeah. Because it gives perspective. Yeah, exactly. And, so and it helps people to like, somebody going to watch this 10 years from now and be like, okay, because this is a new world. This is a new space, right? So mm-hmm. I'll speak to it. Um, no, I, I do all my marketing myself. Mm-hmm. Um, every idea that you guys see on, if it's social media wise, it come from me mm-hmm. 98, 99% of the time. Okay. Um, marketing. So, okay. There's layers to it. Okay. If you marketing the media, what we're doing right now is trying to create a great soundbite. Mm-hmm. That's, that's going to market the, the show that we have. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you're doing, if you're marketing the media, you want to create a, a series of great sound bites. Mm-hmm. All the, all the most memorable moments that we have in media is from the soundbite we can all tree y'all mm-hmm. it's the one liners yeah, that we yeah, be like y'all remember that yeah, you know what I'm yeah. so we want to uh, with marketing I always explain it this way advertisement and the marketing is two different things marketing is creating conversation about something advertisement is creating awareness so I can slap stickers everywhere and or I can run advertisements on Instagram or I can run Facebook ads or whatever type of ads, and it'll create awareness that people will know that I have an album coming out, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it won't create conversation around my album. So you have to marketing is when you can create conversation around something. How do you do that? You make everything that you post shareable. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So if it's not shareable, it's not good enough to post. Mm-hmm. You know, marketing is creating a series of shareable moments in this time if you're going to talk about social media marketing. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking about starting a social media marketing company to help. You know, nah, different content good. creators and artists. But um, marketing is really trying to create a series of shareable moments. So when you go to my page, you can see everything I post is damn near shareable. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'll sprinkle in things that are not shareable to give balance to my page. But everything that damn near everything I post yeah, yeah. is shareable. And I always have a reason why I posted something. And don't be afraid to see what works. You have to test the market, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll put things up just to see. Okay, is this gonna work? Uh, they didn't engage with that the way they engage with this IE content. I'll put this IE. I'll put a little more of that. You know what I'm saying? And they'll take me everywhere else. Yeah. Right. So, and you'll have people go, "Oh, I'm from Alabama, but my sister lives in the IE, and I relate. She acts just like that." You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. creates it creates the conversation. Or you, I'll put pieces up that are they'll be like, "Oh, we're not really like that." Or man, that's exactly how it is. Either yeah. way, they're having a conversation. They have. Yeah. They're talking about it. Yeah. That's all you're trying to do is create conversation mm-hmm. with marketing. Mm-hmm. So. You have to have a, a a fearlessness in marketing because you can't be afraid of being uh, disliked, mm-hmm. and you can't be afraid of um, backlash. You know, and I look at everything as a marketing. Uh, when I see people post certain things, I'm like, oh, that, that's great marketing. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna be yeah. talking about that yeah, forever. Yeah, that's you know? why Takashi was so good at it. He's he great. He's brilliant marketing. Brilliant, bro. Really brilliant. Yeah, and he's completely detached from do they like me or do they not. Mm-hmm. You have to look at it as just numbers. I look at it as is it, is it getting engagement? Kanye Kanye said uh, on that Life of Pablo album, everybody gonna say something. Yeah. I'll be worried if they said nothing. nothing. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right? Uh, That's what it is. Right. Um, Kim Kardashian, the Kardashians, one of the best at it. Like 
they say Kim don't have no talent, but she's a talented marketer because she gets you talking about it. Every you know what I'm saying? Time, every time she And that's all it, it is. Yeah. So, uh, 50, 50. I learned this all from 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter if they like it or not. If they don't like it, they were already going to not like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you don't have no say in that in and they don't matter. You know? So, just create conversation for marketing and for advertisement. You can always do advertisement, but one, can't, one hand doesn't wash the other in that sense. So, advertisement doesn't create marketing. Marketing always creates advertisement. Okay. Okay. I love that. I love that, bro. Yeah, Thank you for the gym. No doubt. Um, we're gonna give our uh people a sneak peek. Shout out to my boy Will Evans Urban for, Legend. for stopping by Urban Legend, uh musical artist. You just dropped the album. Go ahead and tell them what that uh yeah. what that album is about. I dropped uh Mo Valuable. Mo Valuable came back and came what was that, uh November, December? Last year, man, I'm bad with dates on my own projects, but we dropped the November uh, 2020. November 20, yeah, I think it was November 22nd or 21st. But I dropped Mo Valuable. Um, That album was really a culmination of of that year for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I spoke a lot about business things, uh, you know, things that I'm really going through in my real life, you know, coming Mm -hmm. from the streets. um, On Marino Valley Love, on that album, I spoke about, you know, how at 17, I thought I was going to be nothing. And you know, I actually survived them situations and came up out of them. So um, different things like that on the album, I spoke about, it was all about value. That whole album was about value. Um, value in a woman, value in yourself, value in your time, value in, you know, uh, your your future and present, you know, mm-hmm. and that's what that album was pretty much about. So, yeah, more valuable. Go check it out. It's in, on all streaming platforms. And, um, yeah, I love that album. That's one of my favorites. Definitely, definitely. But, oh, yeah. My man going to spit something yeah. for y'all. I want to hear this, man. Yes, Come on now. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Talk to him. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Look. Click, clack. Niggas run up on me, make them get back. Bitch ass. Hard to hit niggas running in zigzag. For them O's, we X a nigga out. We playing Tic Tac. I'm an MC down on my trunk card, this Big Mac. Bullets ain't got no name in my vein, bringing it back. I made it out the hood, I'm doing good, but I could flip back. Put so much work out, we in this gym, we getting six packs. Niggas want smoke, we gon' start fires, where your sticks at? Niggas been in more shootouts than flights on the airplane. I'm Jordan with the flu, but for you, nigga, that's fair game. All my niggas share pain, so that's why we so insatiable. When you survive the pain, make it out, you unbreakable. Bulletproof Mercedes cool. I ain't finna play with you. Shot four times, Marino Valley confrontational. I ain't run from nothing. Who the fuck I'm about to run to? Chop a nigga like Kung Fu. All the war like I'm Sun Tzu. Look up to you like Sun Wu. Kick it with father figures. Push start the hitters. It ain't really hard to get started with us. Smarter than Harvard niggas. Harder than trigonometry. If they ain't stand up, I expect them niggas to lie to me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this sir. This nigga talking. Oh, yeah, he's speaking, bro. This nigga talking. Yeah, talk that shit, man. Talk Come that on, shit, man. bro. I love yeah. that, bro. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, you like the switch yeah, it's up. A switch. Here we go. Oh, it's a switch up, man. Run it back. Can we run it back? I gotta catch that. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go check out Skit. Oh, it's out man. right now. Let these niggas know where to follow you, man. Yeah. Hey, 
That was the best freestyle we had on here. Hey, we much love, bro. I appreciate it. I love music, man. So, you can follow me, uh, Urban Legend Will Evans, on everything, youtube.com slash Will Evans. You know what I mean? Go stream everything. My name is, is Will Evans on all streaming platforms. Go stream everything. I own that name until I trademarked it. So, hello. Hey, talk, talk to him. him man. Talk to him. Will Evans everything, baby. Urban Legend Will Evans on social media and Will Evans on streaming. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Damn was, it. Oh, oh yeah. We got, I got a little more time. Catch more him like well, Julius Edelman? Talk, talk, yeah, talk your what? shit. Yeah, make sure you go to thecampaignclothing.com, get you some new merch, like just, you know what I mean, sweatsuit that I'm wearing right now. Talk to and, him. Uh, Stand up real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. get this out there. Yeah, legend, bro. Got the legend. Legend. You know what I mean? The pants is the same way. Ooh. You feel me? So... Yeah, shout out to Will, and man. a shout out to the Everyday Intellect Podcast. You know what it is, bro. This is big, bro. For real, yeah. we, we appreciate you being here, bro. Uh, a month ago, me and Terrence had this conversation. Like, hey, I heard about this dude. Everybody was sharing you, bro. Everybody was speaking about you. Like, hey, who is this cat? We was like, I don't know, but he's getting a buzz. Yeah, and I'm like, of course, okay, he got a buzz. It's cool. Me and Terrence talked about it, but. What you be speaking in your quotes, it, like the, your captions yeah. sometimes. You That's what like really comes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got a head on your shoulder, bro. You, you, it's deeper than what you putting out, bro. And that's why we really wanted you on. I got bro. Martin Luther King sense, baby. Hello, talk uh, about it. Talk that's, now, we, we, um, that's why we appreciate you. Bro. It's important to do that too. When I put content, I try to give a broad perspective. I don't ever want people to think I'm one one way. Yeah, because it closes them off to. You don't want people to feel like you just the, the guy that do skits. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So when I offer a uh, personality, you offer more. I learned this from Fifty. He say. If you offer more of yourself, it creates the separation that you're looking for between you and other platforms mm-hmm. or you and other people mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. yourself. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Right. So for that. Yeah. just offer more of yourself, and that's what I did. So I try to offer every aspect of myself. And who you see on social media, that's who I am. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No truth. Right? Talk about it. Yes, and uh, you got the same at name on Twitter, Urban? Yeah. So Urban Legend Will Evans, if you look it up, it'll come. It, Urban it's, Legend. It's without the, uh, it, I have to shorten it for Twitter, but without the vowels, you know, Urban Legend Will Evans. Okay, okay. perfect, perfect. Man... Will, much thank love. you. Much Absolutely, love. man. You much Appreciate appreciated it, on this much podcast. Love. You always welcome on this podcast. You are IE legend. Appreciate uh, it. In the making. Uh, you are IE legend now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're we're going to definitely stay in contact, bro. I know yeah, sure. I'm coming that, back. Bro. Yeah. I'm yeah, always yeah, coming back. Yeah, hey, yeah. and this is going to grow. I can see y'all got yeah, something. Yeah, thank you, bro. You know what I mean? And y'all take it the right way. Y'all, y'all treat it the right way. You know, Y'all treat it like it's as serious as it is. So. It's definitely going to grow. I can't wait to see y'all on radio stations hosting your own show or, Appreciate you know, even if it's the sir. podcast space. I hope to see y'all mm-hmm. on your own network Thank or you, bro. we'll do Thank some you. business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Future, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Everyday in a Lek podcast. You I go by the name uh, Suds. Put your own pop. Urban Legend with Levin's Everyday Intellect. Baby, let's get it. Let's, let's get, get it. it. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yes, Peace. Sir. Peace.